All right, let's go ahead and begin, everybody. Hello, nerds. How you doing? How you doing? Today is a Katamari day. I realized I used to listen to a lot more Katamari music when I painted it. I'm not in a hot minute, so let me say hello to all of you nice people, and also let me test the YouTube chat. Uh, YouTube chat test helps if I spell YouTube correctly. Jesus Christ, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Let me say hello to all you fun nerds. Hello, Azure Rats. Congratu congratulations on your first. Hello, Ars. Hello, Nobody. Hello, Bellinary. Oh, hold on. I had, I had a sip during the, during the start break, but all right. YouTube chat is working. Nice. Got to do a big stretchy. How you doing, Belner? How you doing? How you doing? Hello, Matthew. Hello, Steve. Hello. Also, congratulations on the... Ne like 31 months of subs and also nearly six like 65 stream streak holy shit nice 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 what do you mean sniffa what do you mean sniffa for <laughs> hello sasha and hello thar welcome, welcome welcome yeah i am um, so a lot of you are gonna be like how don't you normally paint on wednesdays and the answer is yes uh tomorrow i am going to be playing Flavor of the month horror game with some cool people. So I had to do a little bit of a schedule shifty around. Oh, it's it's going to be a very early stream. I might gorilla afterwards. I don't know. If I gorilla, it'll just be another painting stream. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this lad is, uh, is, is, is been, oh, hold on, I forgot to put my other glove. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't let you see the, the, uh, the eroticism that is my unbared left hand. That's my, that's my marriage hand. I have to keep that one pure. How you doing, Hiosh? How you doing? Yeah, Nanners Fan Club, let's go. Yeah, let me, let me put my glove on. And gorillas, gorillas are, there was a, um, for, for, um, one page rules, there was a, uh, d like, dragon keeper thing where, um, it's because it's because I re it's because I reset them every season. I, I I reset, so don't worry. The older the older values are here. Older values are here. Go ahead, so let me go ahead and move over there. Everyone does not know. This is my wonderful snake Nanners. She is still big chilling. I she's kind of like she's doing the thing she's doing right now where she is going to shed. I'm waiting for her to shed so I can do like a deep cling of her cage. And um, uh, so that's, this, this should be good, but she's been very cute. She's been poking her head. So I know she'll be ready soon. I, I need to figure out a way to get like an equivalent to Twitch point set up on YouTube. I feel, I feel bad for the YouTube's people cannot join the Nanners fan club. There's gotta be, I mean, I, I, I could, it's like, I could show my Twitch to all you nerds, but like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like that's mean. I'll do I'll do it anyway. I'll do it anyway for right now. This is a temporary solution. <laughs> there we go. I have what the thing is about doing a nanners cam and also uh, actually AAOS or AOS just kind of just like the, the slang. Welcome to the official nanners fan club. Ha. It's like snake cams would are there. It's a, it's a neat idea on paper. You're like, ooh, I would like to see a cam of how snake the problem is snakes are very inactive animals. <laughs> so a snake cam would literally just be like a foot. Like it would, it would just be like a piece of bark unironically. Cause Nanners has like a little, it's got like a little like half enclosure. It's like, it's like a little like half hollowed out log that she sleeps under uh, and lays on top of sometimes. That's true. Nan Nanners can absolutely feel the love. Uh, in in your cold, unfeeling lizard heart, Nanners definitely feels the love. I'm just being mean. I I I like Nanners, but I know objectively she is a she she is a reptilian creature. She does not feel typical uh, human emotions. <coughs> hmm. Sorry about the cough. It's getting um allergy season as fuck where I'm at. You know it's bad when you have to like turn your windshield wipers on just to remove the like built up accumulated pollen. That's great. I love that. So, yeah. Hopefully every one of you have been having a good time. I have been. Crush that one. I want to just cover these in metal. I have been having a glorious grand old time. I did a lot of um I have so 
I've been working on that speed painting technique for my um, what's it called? I've been I've been I've been being a lazy bastard, and I've been slap chopping the motherfuck out of my plague rats, uh, plague monks because I want to get them done, and it's going so far actually. Like unironically, I'm getting like pretty good mileage out of uh, getting this. I don't remember if this is an intentional thing or if like I made a really jank banner out of the pop and stick. Either way, yeah, let's go slap chop this. <laughs> Also, anthropologist, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, you kind of got to like I, ch like they're ch they're like they're chaff, they're delicious chunky chaff, but they are they are chaff nonetheless. Yeah, so I ironically they were some of the earliest purple. Like I think they were purple before my Death Guard were, but because like that there there is like the the logical series of steps that led to my Death Guard being purple are that my initially that my Death Guard had purple cloth to contrast um yellow skin. Like like sickly yellow skin for my uh, Age of Sigmar maggot kin, and then like when I when I uh, and then I kind of turned that into purple cloth for like the plague monks because they're technically you could run them together with um with Nurgle armies. You still can, I believe, in Age of Sigmar. It's um it's bad. It's it's a it's a trap mechanical choice that's just fun for flavor reasons. But um, yeah, considering that like they've been, they're kind of ugly sculpts. Like I, I like, I believe, I, I can appreciate soul and models. The fuck, fuck the plague monks. They are just nothing but mold lines and sadness. Oh, I say hello, Hellcat. Hello, Ryan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? We're working on, we're working on robot parts. Usually for the arms, like yeah, I just do this. Like I'm gonna cover everything in the metallic, and we'll go back in later. Do like panels and shit. How you two nerds doing? Uh, but yeah, I did those. Also, I did a bunch of oil washes. So check it out. He's, I think he's done. Like outside of maybe some fiddly little bits, he has been sufficiently oil washed. Uh, the 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 cloak had a little bit of issues where some of the uh, sealant pulled up in the recesses. So I did a little bit of fixing. Yeah, I think a steroid mullet turned out pretty good. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the lad. Shout from the Warhammer thing. The war the Warhammer thing. What the Warhammer thing? Oh, ah. Like a drama thing or something else? Also, I got this guy oil wash as well, and I'm also trying to like un like the oil wash looks pretty good, but it does a kind of shit job on the robes, so I sort of have to like fix it with a little bit of touch up. Hey, otherwise he looks pretty legit. I'm I'm pretty happy with him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The cust uh, the custodies, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm I I've already. Don't worry, we're not going to talk about that much here. I, I think I've basically said all there is to say. Uh, I think Games Workshop should just release a model. <laughs> just release a model. Come on. Come on, do it, you cowards. How you doing, Aslan? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? All right, so yeah, I was a, I was a very pr uh, productive boy yesterday. I think I did some other stuff. Ooh, 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 yes, yes. Um, I, uh, what else did I do? I think today was 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 uh, I think I did some other stuff. I, yeah, imagine Games Workshop. Real the funny thing is, Games Workshop releasing models a plus, keeping models in stock real bad. They're real bad at keeping models in stock for a company that ostensibly gets all their money from from selling models. And it's just really weird thinking that like like the stuff that Games Workshop gets away with would sink other companies. Um. Mostly in like the mini sphere, like like I I love mini war games, but like each company can do like like that's not G Dubs gets like one major mistake, and then they implode. Like you got like X Wing Second Edition, or you got like Malifaux's like the other side, which kind of did a lot of like did not do good and kind of put them back a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you do have limited manufacturing capabilities, uh, infin in infinite FOMO grind does make sense. I don't like it as a business style, though. I do not. I do not. I do not like it. That's been interesting, though. Like, reg regardless of the of the external forces that's causing it, some people are talking about like looking at like other war games and older editions. Like that's cool. I I think legitimately that that is a healthy thing instead of just being like, well, like if you have an issue with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, with G dubs, 
Uh, there's a bunch of other war games out there and a bunch of other rule sets, and you can even do some like fun cross ca uh, capability stuff. My brain is continuing to do the dark thoughts, and by the dark thoughts, I mean I. I'm still thinking about that fucking Song of Fire and Ice box. I still keep thinking about that box because I'm like, okay, what if I, what if I, what if I did that? What if I got that box because it's on Hella Sale? I could like trade them up so that they could maybe be used for like a very lax version of the old world as like an empire army because a lot of Song of Fire and Ice dudes are very like empire roles adjacent, even if they don't really got like that. They don't, they don't got the empire flair. I was like, ooh, ooh, no, that's bad. How that's a bad thought. How that's a dangerous thought you're thinking. Yeah, and then there's also stuff like Kings of War and like whatnot. Azalfia, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I I keep forgetting I keep forgetting that the uh, Elder Scrolls War game is real. I keep forgetting about that one. I'm also preparing. I need to because I did a lot of like white dry brushing on my um, plague monks. This thing is incredibly just like white blitzed. So how you doing, Flopsy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. No, no, Empire, like for the old world. Song of Ice. It's Ice and... God damn it. I always get those mixed up. Wait, you, also, you changed your name, you fucking nerd. I always get those mixed up. I always get the. I always get them flip-flop uh, turned around. A Song of Game of Thrones. There we go. We'll just say that. I get, I get what they're going for. I, I my, bra my brain mixes up the elements. Also, we're going, we're going to this little... Like rickety sewer grate, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a jazzing up. Uh painting's going pretty good. I actually did the rare thing where I did a little bit of painting off stream. Uh like as I was working on Asterian Moloch's cape and some other bullshit. Oh yeah, you got back to working on your old war game. Fuck yeah, how's that going? How's that going? How who how do that be going? Also, uh apropos of absolutely nothing, I um I think I mentioned it a couple times. Yeah, I pre-gamed. I actually legitimately thought of the word pre-gaming when I was doing that. I was like, this feels odd that I'm pre-gaming. But it's like, I, I want to get a little bit done of, because uh, I want to, I, ideally, I want to get Asterian Moloch, like, on a rotator at some point tonight, like, directly after stream. Despite their codex looking really rough. I mean, here's the thing. Like, if you, if you go third party, every, every time a codex is absolutely shit, all you have to do is just go to like eBay, just go to eBay and just because like some fucker is going to offload his entire fucking Coda custodies army because this happens every time. And I, I don't entirely like, like I get it. I get it. If you're not having fun and like you, you think maybe buying a different army or like you've got an army for a specific mechanical reason, that reason's no longer there. I get it. Um... But also too, like the sometimes like when like Death Guard has been low, I've been I picked up some real banging deals, and then eventually the models get better, and it's like yippee. That's also it too. Custodes really is like like arguably the more beginner friendly army. Like even though I don't think they're really advertised that way, it's usually it's Space Marine. I actually heard like a very interesting argument about Primaris uh, recently. Because it was it was a video basically like, hey, why is there like ironically it dropped this video dropped right before um dropped right before the fucking custodies drama. And it was in the last Warhammer drama, which was um two two Warhammer YouTubers were made separate videos on like why do people not like Primaris? Um and how how that's there's kind of like a built-in outrage culture to Warhammer because a lot of Warhammer creatives get a lot of money by ad clicks and what gets ad clicks, but fucking just like drama. Uh, which is why I don't do that. <laughs> why I have no money. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm doing good, but I'm doing fine anyway. How you doing, son? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? I mean, some of them absolutely are meta chasers. Some of them are absolutely meta chasers. And I, I'm not, I'm going to say that's fine, actually. I think there's like a weird, I know, I understand that like pub stompers exist and there's just like really aggravating people who do like ter heavy tournament grinding. But like, I've also just like seen really like legitimate, like you can sit down for like people who do like tournament organization or they, um, 
run like commentary and stuff like that. They're actually like very nice people. Like not everybody who does tournament stuff is kind of just like a cruel, unfeeling asshole. But it's like, yeah, sometimes some some people get the their enjoyment from doing doing it that way. And I think it's kind of nice because as like a part of the ecosystem, they're they're kind of like the idea of like those like like the fungivore thing. Like they're like they're like how fungi will like break down material so that ways um uh this the nutrients can return to the soil. I believe competitive players, they have their fun, they play their hyper competitive armies. And then when they're done, they sell off the armies and then like new players and che uh, like not cheaper players, players with less money. Hmm. Well, uh, Alice, how are you doing, Grilson? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, here's the thing. This is this actually, uh, Flopsy, it goes back to that. Um, the, the, the argument, like, technically, I don't know if it, it wasn't really, like, a for or against Primaris thing. It was, like, the, the, the logic of Games Workshop is that, like, 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 it, I mean, the Games Workshop never says anything outright, so this is, like, take it with a grain of salt. Think of, think of it like this, though. Like, could it, like, if I say... Space Marines are an army aimed at beginners. I don't think anybody in sound mind would disagree with, with, with that statement. And this is what the guy was saying. Like, they're, they're marketed as baby's first army. Um, they get the most lore coverage. They're, they're, are, they're what you go when you want to get into Warhammer. Like, sure, you might eventually move on to, like, like some people go in for, like, orcs and, or Tau or whatever. But... Well, the, the 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 logic of the guy, and this also kind of goes back uh, to like the city's thing, is that hey, uh, at the very end of like seventh edition and whatnot, Space Marines were not a very beginner friendly army. Uh, each army had like a bajillion d variations of incredibly hard to paint, fairly little details. Like it's technically the removal of soul. Like, like, I think some people would see, like, an old Space Marine captain with a shitload of purity seals and bling and scrolls and, like, little fiddly bits. And, like, that is soul, yes. Or, like, having a tactical squad where everybody has a very uh, wide array of different weapons options that are within the same squad and they kind of mix and match. Um... But the idea that Primaris would be kind of like going back to a form that would be easier for newer players to digest. So like, what do you, what do you do? What do you do? You shave off a lot of the like excess details. So they're very plain Marines. We're going back to the idea of flat surfaces that are not skin, which is why Stormcast are also a very beginner friendly army in terms of painting. Like, like Empire was a pain in the ass for people who are not good at painting. It's all it's all split pants and skin and like eye patches and fluffy hats and feathers. Like if you're a new painter, that shit's fucking rough. I mean, the the, the thing is, there has to be beginner armies though. There has to be a beginner army for a war game. Every game generally has baby's first starter faction, baby's first starter rule set. Like I under I I get the idea. Also, how you doing, uh, Kugrix and Alex? And hello, N seventeen. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? So, uh, uh, just going back to the custodian news. I'm I'm uh, bleh bleh at ten neutral. Make a model, please. Like, just actually make a model for them. Just make just make a fem fem custodies model. Then I want I want to see it. I want to see it. Let's see. I mean, the, uh, it's not so. The thing is, I I agree, Flopsy, to a certain degree, but also you have to understand, you are an advanced user. Like you, like you, you are somebody who willingly seeked out a Sisters of Battle army <laughs> to paint. Um, which is which is not typical. Which is not typical. And the amount of people that would pick up like old space marines, paint them, and be like, "Oh fuck this! There's so many bits. Oh god, there's so much. What do I do?" Or like, you know how people like there are people that are legitimately were scared, are still scared, even with the simpler marines of painting their army. So the thought process that the Primaris was a way to bring back a sort of standardization of um, these sort of models. Also, Baron Lord, how you doing? Oh fuck yeah, let's go. 
fellow, fellow, fellow night enjoyer. Because I was the edgy dark. True. I still think if you're a dark elder, you're not like the typical, like, also part of this is like bringing in more players in mass. So, like, uh, they just re released new custodians with long hair. <laughs> Do they actually have those shirts? I don't I don't remember, like, Rogue Trader custodians at all, but my Rogue Trader knowledge is, is really weak. But yeah, that's why Stormcast are also like that. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a, it's a mindset that, like, I can understand even, like, if I were to disagree with it. And I don't even necessarily disagree. How's how you doing, Nitro? Look, 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 how you, how you doing? Stretch. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah. See, it had a big stretch. Boring, you don't have person. No, it's not. I, I, listen, I know, I know. I, I also think Dark Eldar are cool. I like the chaos, grimy, uh, horrible lads. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I would necessarily say like people who enjoy vanilla space marines. I think it's just like a choice. It's just like a different. It's a different set of priorities compared to what I am, and a lot of those people are getting into wargaming for the very first time. So I can understand why the idea of a, of a, of a way to jump in. Gosh, that might, that might be an older YouTube link. Let's see. Oh, then that that probably is that my VOD channel or is that my t house tabletop? Okay, I need to update that. I need to update that. the 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 channel I'm streaming on YouTube on is actually totally different. And also, Baron Lord, thank you for the follow. For the workshop, welcome, welcome, welcome. Like the Ultra Smurfs, like yeah. <laughs> or the uh, or the or the I guess the Minotaurs are still technically boring regular Marines. I do like them for for mostly because I like painting dirty gold and also I like that they're assholes. I mean, Blood Angels are cool too. I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can see where you're coming from, Flopsy. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't agree though. I, per, I personally don't agree. And like, like also too, a lot of Space Marines are aimed at a younger audience as well. So like, even, 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 the, even though technically Space Marines are like, yeah, these, 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 these are the murder, these are the murder hypno, hypno indoctrinated monks. A lot of times, like, I, I, I do think that they are aimed at a general younger audience as far as like, I would like to get into that. Third you link in my bio. Oh, okay. That one, I think just straight up broke at some point. I should edit that as well. No, I'm just going to put that in my to-do list because I don't want to do that stream. Do the link. From bio. There we go. Everything is murder hypno indoctrinated. Unless you're unless unless you're a cool lad and you start out broken and horrible. Give me. All right. Got got these going. Got those going. We got these. I want to do a little bit more touch up on the. So also too, I what I have done is I have uh, I thought there was a little bit. I I I I saw that there's like too many gaps, so I put like a bunch of filler, and I'm gonna kind of mush that in with a bunch of other. Hello, hello, YouTube people. <laughs> oh fuck, I've actually missed. Hello, 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 Wade. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? It works. Yippee, let's go. Hey, the the also hello, Dino custodian. How you doing? Fuck. That. that. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I googled it and I have no idea what that context is. But how, how you nerds doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Chieftain. How you doing as well? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I I know generally when I when I also also uh, Nitro. Thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know why I didn't get alert on Twitch for that, but hell yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the head pad as well. Yeah, I I I typically usually do, like I I I I usually do. I mean, I, I, if somebody likes an army, I will be like, go, go for what you like. I, I don't sugarcoat it though. I, I do think as somebody is like, I'm, I want to get into Gene Steeler cults. I do let them know what they're getting into. Uh, the Lark bot doesn't work. I have like a couple of the bots set up. Uh, that one I think is specifically a Nightbot specific one. But yeah. 
Like you can you can do I think I got I think I set up my shield bot over here. Like I think I can still shut out squids on this side, assuming Nightbot did not die on me. Nightbot died on me. Oh no, there we go. It just has a terribly long load in time. How's my Kingdom Death monster box going? Okay, it's it's kind of doing stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Why did why did Xbox game work? Why did Xbox get what the fuck? Ult Warhammer Ultimate Pack hack. What the fuck is this? Chaos bait and a the fuck are these commands? You guys are finding commands that I have never seen before. I didn't even set these up. These come Nightbot standard. <laughs> these come Nightbot standard. Okay, those those should work. There we go. Discord and then Art Mama. There we go. They're they're kind like I said. They're kind of sort of in sync. Not not necessarily fully though. Uh, I was pointed away from Thousand Suns. I don't blame. Yeah, it's it's I tr trim trim certainly do be trim out of ten for for Thousand Suns. I like I know players that are pretty entrenched that are like God. I hate painting these. I despise painting these. So yeah, like I said, I usually go. Um, all right, all right. Di di dial back on the commands, you fucking nerds. I can't read shit now. And hello, Mega Paladin. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, God, I even forgot I had the backlog. I had the backlog. All right, be nice. Be nice. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down, nerds. I've never put a, had to put a time limit on my commands, but it's never been like this. <laughs> um, Let's see. Where Where is I going like that? Like, yeah, so, like, I don't know. Like I, like I said, usually for beginners, I will be like, if there's an army you like, go for it, but I will warn them, like, this might be a little tricky. You might want to look at some stuff first. You might want to, you might want to, you might want to be aware of what you're getting in. And so far, like, at least in my experience, it hasn't been too bad. Like, I don't think somebody's been like, well, the army I like is too hard. I guess I'm going to fuck off forever. So some of those commands are real. Like, some of those, like, so, like the Xbox one. Really play is uh not a Kurobi Yakoi. Is that Katamari stuff? Maybe. Some of those commands are just kind of old, like I've forgotten. Like I technically had like a backlog of stuff I would like to do that I just don't think I've messed with in a while. Like onto his hobby. Oh! Oh yeah, yeah, no. So that was okay, I know that one. I know that one actually. That is a game. Nitro, Nitro, calm down. Nitro, please calm down. Please stop. Please stop using every single command. Please. Please, I beg of you, or I will have to time you out. I am I am serious. It is beginning to flood chat. Um What's it called? Um that is a DOS game released by the same guy who did um What was it called? What did the DOS guy do? He was oh, it was the it was the guy who made um LSD and then also, um, like, Eastern Mind. He was, it was the same guy for both. He made, like, one more weird DOS game. He made, like, one more weird DOS game. And that was, like... The thing is, I put that on there. I, from what I can tell, that game barely has any stuff in it. It's, like, 15 minutes of just, like, weird, boingy shapes and whatnot. All right, as long as that's it. That's it, please. No more. No more, I beg. All right, what am I doing now for colors? So I'm eventually going to cover the base with a bunch of different types of sludge. So I'm just kind of trying to mix up like a little bit of like a melange of different colors. Hmm. Or the bottom. Do I can do like an orangey? But yeah, I know, I know, I know a lot of like even even for me, I find like the Death Guard trim annoying to deal with. Trim just kind of sucks in general. Spice melange. If we if we go by the three point five rule book, um, gives you like a little little bit of psionic powers, which is very stupid. I I I still wish the like the Dune RPG that's out right now, like the Mophidius one, it's not bad. I just really it's it's odd. I like Dune as a setting, but I like um. 
Shao commands. Uh yeah, usually usually they're um usually because the Shao commands has not been like used nefariously, and sometimes I do have people help with that during like big raids and stuff. Please do not abuse that right now. I I'm I am serious, please. Uh, guys, please, please. Please, you fucking nerds. Please, I swear to God. I will I will I will turn this car I will turn this car around. I will turn this car around. No one's getting McDonald's. But um yeah, the like the, the Dune tabletop RPG. It's so because like Dune is such a very specific setting for like around like the whole family. I'm I'm serious, guys. Cause the thing is the when when everybody spams the chat, nobody can actually have a conversation. So it's kinda you guys kinda miss out. It kind of it kind of degrades the experience, which is I want all of you to behave. Um, but um, it's it's such a bummer though when you read through it. Like it's because the Dune setting is very limited. Like it's cool for a movie and a book, but when you actually read like the RPG, they basically bring up like the send send same ten points over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I just think of like the words, like whenever I think of spice melange now, I just think about that line being repeated ad nauseum in the fucking uh, like rule book for that. It's a very pretty book, though. It's a very, very pretty book. Yeah, I. So this is this is the thing that's kind of fucked up about it is like mechanically everything's fine. And it's got like a thing that I do enjoy in a tabletop RPG, which is a. um. Uh, like a, a noble house builder. I enjoyed that part of like the Song of Fire and Ice RPG a lot. And it was really, really cool for um for the Dune one. But the thing is a lot of a lot of Dune it is very, very, very narrow. Like I this is like the sacrilegious thing is like Okay. The implication would be like, okay, so you basically play a very similar game to the movie, like you said it on Arrakis. Also, uh, Colt Rissa, thank you for, uh, Colt Rissa, sorry, thank you for the follow and welcome to the workshop. I'm adding a little bit of dirt to this. But where am I, where am I going with this? Um, like, you either, you either play exactly with the setting that's base, or you diverge so wildly far, you're like, you're playing Noble Houses on a planet far away from Dune. Uh, where it's like minor noble intrigue. And like that sounds cool. And I do agree it's neat. But like you're losing so much co like the book is like this is what a uh, this is the stats for a sandworm. This is how you fucking be a free man. And it's like what you're missing out on so much by doing it this way. Also also Arissa, I am how we're not the mimic elf mint you're painting VTuber of the Nurgle and Gaven variety. I'm currently painting a big robot, aka mostly right now I've been fucking with its base today. But I think I think that I think that just comes with the territory. It's a different yellow. I think I did dark yellow already. Let's do a golden yellow. Yeah, I've generally I've generally liked Keith Baker's stuff. I how how are how are the fifth edition Ebron books though? I so I didn't interact with fourth edition Ebron at all. I didn't I didn't interact with fourth edition Ebron at all. Uh, but like I do really, really like the 3.5 era Eberron books. Like I have a couple of them, and they're some of my favorites. Like they're very, very they're very, very good. Yeah, that's that's kind of my thought too. But like I feel like this, like this is why I said like this is almost borderline sacrilegious. If I ran it, if I ever ran the Dune RPG, probably what I would do is I would change the way Spice is done. Like, instead of being something that sandworms produce, I would just say it's something that is available on every planet. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, I, I didn't say you were disagreeing. Yeah, it's, but it is that kind of conundrum of, like, do you unfuck Dune as a setting? And if you do, now suddenly you gotta deal with, like, well, like, why are we playing Dune then and not, like, Traveler? Like, 5th edition, Star Wars, uh, like, Star Wars, 5th edition? It's definitely fine. Shadow, Shadow, <laughs> Shadow One. <laughs> I mean, Pathfinder's not that much different than the like. I'm gonna be real; it's pretty similar. Like the mechanics, I think the mechanics are better, but like it's not it's not different enough in scope where I'd be like, oh, if you play D and D Fifth Edition and you never play Pathfinder, to, like you're never like I I would never be like, oh, you're missing out on. The same style of game, but you get a bit of a 
You get a bit of a different mechanical vibe to it. So how you doing, Tin? How you doing? We must control the paprika. The glo- I mean, the funny thing, that's a joke, but like so much, so many wars were fought over like actual spices. Like it's kind of wild. Oh, this is this is just the base I used, I think. I think we're getting like a nice kind of color mixture fuckery over here. It's a noble house. I mean, yeah, you could totally do that. I, like, I, I would, I, so for the Dune RPG, because like the Dune RPG is not bad, though. That's just the thing. Like, I, I enjoyed a little bit of travel I played, but like, I, I wouldn't necessarily be like, I can only do Travelers, my space system. I really want to try Stars Without Number one of these days. It's, it's another one of those games that I've pitched to various groups and they'd be like, that's a cool game, Hal. Uh, I don't want to play it, but that's cool. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks there, buddy. Uh, hold on, what's yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, exactly, Flopsy. Like, spice whales. I also just thought about, like, it could be mined, which is kind of weird, but, like, the idea, it's, like, it's hard to, you can't make it. Like, spice needs to be, like, a resource that you can, like, acquire, but you cannot harvest. Like, you cannot grow. Or if you can grow, it's ludicrously difficult to the point where it would not, um, it would not be feasible to do so. Oh, there we go. Oh, my rust paint. There we go, Operation Oregano. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of like a like a like like a stereotypical chef Italian man, just like deep undercover. Yeah, that's why I've heard that it's like a lot of its generative tools are really neat. As well. So I'm gonna fuck up the bed. Have a good night, nitrous. Take it a uh, nitro, sorry. Have a good night, nitro. Take it easy. Have a good rest. Uh, oh yeah, no. Burnt their tongues on mayo. That is kind of funny when you think about like 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 a hundred some years ago, Britain would like fight and die for like the wildest of spices, and now there's some like not not everyone. I mean, there's there's a country where like spicy curries can be pretty big, but also there's 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 some stuff over there where it's just like this is this is the most mild shit. <laughs> Double O oregano. That would be a that would be a really bitchin' restaurant name, Double O Oregano. I would eat the fuck out of there. That would be so good. So we're working shot. I mean, I think that's fine. Like, I I think OSR as a base is pretty solid. But I I, I if somebody wanted to deviate from that, I don't think that would bother me too much. I can kind of see like if you're hoping for like OSR all the way up though, that would be a little it'd be a little frustrating. You're talking not I not all like I, I wasn't British food necessarily all the time. Echo has shown me some good British food. I'm I'm mostly I'm mostly it's mostly bands. <laughs> Chef Boyardee operation. There we go. When it, when it, whenever I do my spy thriller game using oh what's this what I used to run a spy thriller? <sighs> hmm. I don't know. I know probably Feng Shui. Which is more like a like not not uh Effectively, kind of like a John Woo sort of like thing, which is not exactly what I'd say spy thriller, but I think like if you wanted to be like a cool action man, I feel like um, that would be a pretty baller system for that. Shit talking to hell yeah, brother. Face is looking good. I need to get. I know whenever I've seen people do like uh, like the the water pours for these, usually they will. Well, they'll put like a little like plastic rim around it. Hi, how you doing, Dusky? Yeah, glad you like the model. I this is very minimally kit bashed, um, but also the base has a lot of three D printed stuff on it, which I, I think three D printing is great for bits. If you're ever on the fence about um, if you're ever on the fence about getting a three D printer for bits, I would strongly recommend for that. Um, it's just they're just fun in general, though. Get mine. A one glove like it's my glove. <laughs> I do. Well the thing is I, I wear I wear the I wear the one glove because like in the past I didn't. And there'd be some times where like the my my hand would like rub some paint off or like I would get paint uh transfer and I didn't want to deal with that shit every time. So I was like a singular glove covers it and I still get that like tactile glove. <laughs> I said tactile grip and like immediately fucking just beef the it's just like fucking beef the brush. Amazing. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at painting. 
Oh yeah, no, there's some really banging STLs out there. I uh it's 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 it takes a bit. Depending on who you ask, it's like a whole other hobby or it's not that bad. The big thing is you just want to have the space for it. You need you need some space where you like you can properly breathe with that thing running. Uh and once you kind of got that taken care of, you're golden. Scuff. That's 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 what they called me in college. No, but um so yeah, I, I got I got mine in a very well ventilated portion of my house. You could always do like uh, FDM printing, which is mostly uh, for wargaming stuff. I would not use that for um, like actual miniatures. Some people do. Some some people do. And um, what's it called? Uh, but they kind of look very, very jank and I would not recommend. I would not recommend using an FDM printer for minis. However, terrain, yeah, terrain's real baller. Mine is jammed right now. Um, I need to, I have a metal replacement for one of the extruder bits and I need to replace that, but I have been very busy, uh, during the weekends, which is when I would have the time to replace that. So maybe this weekend I'll get the time for it. Yeah. How you doing, Charlie? Yeah, I do like, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I've had a proper fish and chips, but I've had food that is British. That we're not going to lie. There we go. There's my shiny aluminium. Oh, speaking about funny STLs. Okay, I, I, I posted this on Twitter, but I've not inflicted this on some of you. So um, sometimes, when, so there's basically like two methods on my mini factory that you uh, can get like subscription prints. One of them, if you get a Patreon link, like if you subscribe to a Patreon, if you if you if you subscribe to a Patreon, they'll send you like a little redemption code and you get you get like added to a list and sometimes they'll periodically update that list. Um, uh, and the other one is if you do it directly through my mini factory. Now, if you do it through the Patreon, I've done that before and I've been like, ah, I don't really need any more minis from these guys because usually they have like pretty good sign on bonuses. And if I don't like what's coming up the next month, I, I ollie out. Um, but sometimes they'll still accidentally send you a mini every now and then. Um, I was sent this mini. Uh, yesterday. Oh, Calvin, time time for horrors. I legally own this mini now. This STL. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. I'm showing you the nicest part. It is Java. Java, with a full round ass like. Posing like Mickey, uh, Nicki Minaj, like when she's kind of do the thing, like, uh, like butt out, like standing on the balls of her feet kind of thing. It's, um, it's not good. I was just like, I was just looking through my minis because it's an alpha, my, effectively my, my minis are organized by like, with my release order. So I was just like, oh, let's see what I got this ball. Oh, why do I, why do I have this? Why do, why do why do I have this? I have not subbed to these guys in like half a year ago. Why did I get sent this? Is this a, is did I did I did I fuck up? I'm sorry. You could take me off the list. I never asked to be on the list. You could you could you could just do that. I I unsubscribed. You could remove me. And then I got that instead. So it, I can't even say it do be like that because it really should not be like that. It should not do be like that. Never, ever, ever. Oh, hold on. You know, try, try to get a little bit of metal sheen on these pipes. I can't, yeah. The, the universe certainly moves in mysterious ways. I will, I will say that. And also... Once I'm done with these pipes, I I'm, I can I'll go back to actually painting. You know the model that all you nerds came here for, I assume. Other than the ones that just think it's very nice when the funny elf man talk about the warhams. But yeah, the universe certainly gave me a gift. Make a clap. Oh no, I don't want to think about. Like I understand that the huts are a species in Star Wars, and by definition, they they must they must they must. They must Oh, that's a, that's, that, that's, you know, it's the fucked up thing is I'm pretty sure I have like a RoboSlon, um, like platform 
Because I have I have the one page rules like space stuff. So like if I wanted if I wanted ass out Jabba to be like a horrible, horrible slot equivalent, I could. Oh cricket, how you doing? It depends on the model. Like this is this is roughly about four hours of work um in terms of just raw painting. Uh the 3D printing and the assembly is like a whole other metric. In terms of raw painting, which I'm not done yet, like not even really particularly close, but I'm not like terribly far either. Um, this is like I said, this is like four hours. Uh, my Skaven ones, like the 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 Rat Boys that I was working at, they, uh, I saw a technique where you use an airbrush and you do you apply a uh, streaking grime that way, which is I want to do that to those dudes. So I do not have that right now. The gold. So like I don't I don't quite have that ready to go just yet. That's an, that's another one of those like I might do that. I need to do that as a weekend task thing. But um Like sometimes sometimes it's pretty quick, sometimes it's pretty slow. Like Asterian Moloch, let me let me put Like this guy's done. I think he took me a grand total of like maybe like eight to ten hours. I'll admit, I kind of, I kind of, he wasn't like the most complicated paint ever. Pretty happy how he turned out, though. Like, there is like one angle, though, where you can really see where like the varnish kind of pooled in the recesses of the cape. It gets like, it catches the light extra shiny no matter how many layers I put. Yeah, but that's fine, though. And now I'm going to go and back to this bit and probably just paint around into the little I'm kind of doing this so I don't have to avoid so I can avoid doing a lot of super heavy trim work and then I'm just going to do like that little like splotchy yellow I I feel like I'm a pretty slow painter overall like uh which is which is why I've been looking into speed painting techniques not for stream stuff more more for just like bulk infantry and whatnot Jimmy's Warhammer project Ooh, what is your what's your what's your, what your boss paint what's your boss paint until like, do you know I'm cu I'm curious. I'm curious. I would I would like a mini painting boss. I am I am I am surrounded at my workplace by a bunch of incredibly out of touch individuals where I relate to them in basically no way whatsoever. Work on some bat boys. Night lords, I believe. Okay. So fellow fellow chaos enjoyer, hell yeah. If you if you if you let your boss know I'm doing Chaos Knights and Death Guard, I'm sure I will get an equivalent. Hell yeah. Very good though. And the stilt dudes. Uh so Admech. Okay, so they do they do Night Lords and Admech. Very good choices. Very cool choices. Or sense of one stars a giant because of natural evil. Yeah, it was always kind of weird because like a lot a lot of Star Wars supplementary material would always be like I think they I think they really, really, really wanted the Huts to be like a, another evil faction in the galaxy. Cause like whenever you would read stuff, it'd always be like, yeah, yeah, there's like the Empire and the Sith, and then there's the crime. There's the space crime man doing the spacest of crime. And I get it. Like you kinda you do to in order to avoid the Dune situation, you do uh, continue to flesh out some stuff. And I, the Star Wars crime elements are kind of fun. I do enjoy them a little bit, but like it's, I uh, usually last you. I, my D these guys I've actually been using for like roughly. Oh, they could be. Oh yeah, those could be. Those could be the Admech flyers. Okay, yeah, actually, that's true. Bat, bat, as in not having like the evil bat wings and having just. Okay, so that just might be all Admech then. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The tray slap chopping them. You can, I mean, the nice thing about, I, if you do that too, and since Necromunda is always like pretty dirty, uh, like slap chop plus an oil wash also does kind of like hide the kind of slap chopping nature of it, and it looks pretty legit. I see, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen a lot of, um, I've seen a lot of slap chops get like really carried by like the couple of extra like good indoctrination steps, uh, which is usually how I see those advertised. Grim Doc Slap Chop. It's just kind of funny how that's like a, a I, know, I know it is like a style of painting, but there is kind of like a fun like advertising brand to that for like the algorithm and stuff like that. Uh, to new <laughs> painting streams. Fuck yeah, let's go, let's go. Hey, whatever, whatever it takes to watch you, uh, to have you watch me paint a uh, goofy, expensive plastic, I'm, I'm down for it. 
Necromon is one of those things that I feel like I would really like to try at some point, but I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of the joy for Necromunda would come from doing like a campaign of it as opposed to doing like an army, if that makes any sense. Uh, old white with red. I mean, that, that sounds banging. That, based on that description, I'm here for it and you should totally do it like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, this turned out pretty good. I, do it. I might do two layers of brown and then build the yellow on top of that. I am now Meowbernacht once more. But, um... Something I have been looking into. I was I, I, I did get hit by like a weird, you know what? I wanna play a war game today. So I've been I've been looking at like my local groups. Apparently there is a semi-active um Middle Earth strategy battle game Facebook group near me. I so I loathe using Facebook, but unfortunately a lot of it's either Facebook or um Discord. For a lot of, uh, like, wargaming things, because a lot of wargamers, that's like, depending on the crowd, a lot of the older ones kind of drift to Facebook, because Facebook in general is the boomer platform. Which is funny, because at one point it wasn't, and then it is. I, I think it's kind of like 40k, they, they, they have a similar spot, I, I, I think the modern iteration of Mordheim is, I don't know how close it is to classic, uh, the modern iteration of Necromunda, I don't know how it stacks up to classic Mordheim, but. Also seems cool. I do like the bug writers though. Yeah, it's cause like I will say for for all the shit I could give Facebook, and there are many and sundry reasons I could give uh, Facebook shit. It is legitimately very handy for like, all right, here's a picture of me. There's a picture of you. We know what each other look like. Um, it is incredibly easy to hit a tool and be like, I am scheduling an event. Would you like to sign up? So yeah, I think I think it is very good for wargaming. I so because I do not use Facebook very often, like I barely use it to keep track of like my adopted family. Like usually it's just kind of like just a check-in. Like I I'm still using a profile picture from <sighs> Two thousand ten. It's old. It's an old pick on there. Yeah. Uh, other. Otherwise, I would have deleted my Facebook a long time ago too. Though the guild recently has been like, "How you're a human with a Facebook account during the day," and I'm like, "Yeah, I guess so. I guess I. I guess I could fake being a Facebook boy." Well, I, 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 it was as, as was the style that was unfortunately like my, my human disguises on there. So they're like, we need you, we need you to have one occasionally for work reasons. And I don't like it. If I had the option, I would, I probably would have nuked it, but now I'm kind of glad cause I might try to, I, I want to play, I want to play a war game thing. The funny thing is like my, my local store, unfortunately has basically moved. I believe all of its planning to discord as well. Now the thing I the thing I think I need to do is make a I need to make a separate Discord. Call it like Rat Painter or something like that. Because I really do, I don't want to join my my LGS's Discord for like I for for meetups, and to be like, why are you an anime boy? Like, well, see, I'm what you would call a VTuber, <laughs> and I don't want, I don't want to get into that. I don't want I don't want to get into that. I don't mind if. People find out I'm a streamer. I don't. I don't want. To, I don't want to explain VTubing to a war game group. I really don't. I really do not. Hello, it is I, Hal Facebook Normie Hugh Man. So you can Nitro does let you do that, but also like you still have to join as you, and then you have to flip it. So there, I don't know. There would be a very incredible narrow opportunity where I could jump in, be like, "Oh shit," and then do like a sick backflip. And then roll into a corner and then come out the other side just like disguised. Like, hello, it is I, it is I, Wargame Human. I do love Games Workshop. Tip, tip, tally ho, Games Workshop. Uh, Bolter, Bolter Marine to you too, good sir. I, I'm ashamed of you. Yes, no. You guys are all nice people. I just, I've, 
Something that I enjoy very much about VTubing is I can keep this life and my personal life separate, which has been great. There's, it's not like it's been like an entire zero sum where they've never crossed streams, but um, why, why aren't you an anime boy? God, um, I mean that that would be tempting, but no, I liked, I like, I liked, I like the privacy that comes with VTubing, honestly. So I I I want I want to keep to that as much as possible, as much as possible. I want to keep that like that kind of like little personal privacy a thing. There we go. Awesome. Oh yeah, definitely add mech. Definitely add mech. Definitely add mech. Then. Let's see, yeah, I'm curious if I plug that into a binary translator. What I'm gonna say if it, if 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 your boss is just gonna call me like a bitch, this is gonna be very funny. Uh, binary uh, binary translator. There. Free binary translator dot com. Let's go binary to text. Let's paste that in there. Oh, it says thanks. Yo, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, there we go. I did not know is very nice. I, I, it is, it is, it is definitely a feature. Your boss said thanks. Your, your boss seems like a nice person. But yeah, where I, where I, where I, where I acquire my daily resources, I do not. I do, I do not, I do not work with people like. When I say I don't work with people my age and like I'm not young. I'm not I'm not I'm not a spring chicken, but like when I say that everybody at the guild is like older than me by like a lot. It's a lot. Hello hello Billy, how you doing, Ben Kisser? You fucking wish. <laughs> how you doing though? How you doing? Painting I'm painting robot bits and it's going pretty good. I think I'm almost gonna have this uh I should just do all the little cabling like this. So tired and gay. I gotta grow on the tired bit. I am tired for it. Oh god. It's doing that thing where it comes out. The paint's coming out stupid watery, so I gotta shake a ludicrous amount. I do like the Pro Acro Gold paint, but every now and then if I just let it sit, it does tend to separate. Oh Pachi, how you doing? Spoiler Lord and Greater Savior. No, I've been doing I'm doing Chaos Knights, arguably one of the most anti tal things because you get all the big robot fun, but then you get like way more heresy and horror. Which is pretty great. How you doing? How you doing? Oh yeah, people have not gotten to see the whole lad. Uh I am currently working on a uh Chaos Knight War Dog. Specifically a huntsman. Which is I've I forget exactly what role the Huntsman fulfills. The thing is, a lot of War Dogs are just kind of interchangeable gear. So it's like, eh. I'm paint I'm painting I'm painting a happy little dog friend. We'll just we'll just we'll just we'll just say that. I am painting bots. There we go. Your non-existent railguns. Yo, let's go. Wait, why do you mean non-existent railguns? Unless you're playing crew, you probably have real gun access. I would, I would assume. Thank you. Yeah, my guys also do engage in close combat. Like basically, like most of the most of the war dogs have like some variation of a melee weapon kind of baked in, and then the. Uh... And then the bigger the bigger ones are more gun platforms, but that's just because like they're so large. That like they they had they have the biggest guns. I think usually they still have like a pretty bitch in melee profile. But like nine times out of ten with the large lads, I do I do be shooting. Nice thing though is I could also bring this guy in my death guard army if I felt so inclined. Do be painting bots. I really like painting bots. I like chaos knights for me are like my comfort faction, where it's like I like I I generally have a fun time painting, but there's times for like death guard where I could be like, hey, this is a lot of annoying bits and this is frustrating and this is taking forever. Chaos knights are legitimately um, explodes. Have fun with your explosion. Thanks for coming by, yo. Scale is too small for kind of conversion. Yeah, I I do think BattleTech is a very good war game, and I'm not saying you can't hobby with BattleTech. I see some like really good ho BattleTech paint jobs, but like if you're and like I'm, I feel like it depend like certain hobby aspects do not translate well to it. 
Like in that case, you might want to like if you do want to do battle tech and you want to get like more hobby juice, probably probably terrain would be where you get would get a lot of uh, get a lot of it. Because then like the, the terrain is small enough where you could do like fantastic buildings, maybe build like a base for your guys, stuff like that. But yeah, I, I I agree. If like you're if you're if the thing you enjoy about miniatures is like I took this space marine guy or like this 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 character and I added a lot of um customizable bits and whatnot because like you could do a lot of lore stuff. Oh, does Alpha Strike not use a grid? I I kind of assumed that Alpha Strike was still like the exact same setup, but it was just like quicker because instead of having like super detailed mechs, you had like lightly statted mechs kind of neat though i will eventually get around to my battletech backlog but it is not it's not the super high, highest priority i think it, in terms of painting project it's one i need to fight my demons and uh i'll well, i'll attempt to fight my demons I'll, I'll see if i end up some coming and getting some of those song of fire and ice uh minis um but i really want to get i'm still working on the predator tank oh by the way the tank I've not worked on it uh, a whole lot, but the the uh, I initially thought with the tank that I one of the like magnetized little cannons got glued on, like it actually the glue hardened in the wrong way, and it's totally fine. I I just needed to pry off the old one, and I could just like reattach it. It was not glued on; it was just like a weak bonding, I guess. How you doing, Shadow? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I imagine like if you want to lure out your dudes, like kind of what what's what Steve's saying. I think you have the option, but if you want to hobby out your dudes, you're you're a little limited. I know personally, I I am not a big fan. I am not a big fan of like the like. I understand that the plastic that BattleTech models are made of now is very cheap, which is nice for like getting new players in or like buying a whole lance when you just go to the bookstore or whatever or online for like. 25 bucks. Like, if Battletech is nice that you could technically buy a whole new army for 25 bucks and have, like, a bunch of gameplay options, and that's very, very rare in the wargame sphere. But the, the consequences of that is a lot of the plastic fucking blows, and I hate it. It's just stealth watch it. Hey, stealth watch as much as you want, yo. Do what you gotta do. I do a lot, I do a lot of stealth watching. I'm I'm always torn when I watch like other VTubers and stuff. Whether I'd be like, "Hey, how's it going? I'm doing a thing," or they're like, "I'm just I'm just painting. I cannot physically touch the keyboard because I'm saturated in paint." I true true. It is possible to get the medals. I I do have access to like 3D printed models as well, and those are lovely. But I I can. I can kind of agree with the sentiment that in the, the aspects of hobbing that I like do not get transferred over to Battletech, even if I think like what I know about the setting is pretty cool. I do want to get to my keyboard is covered in paint, unironically. Um, uh, that's not even a bit. I got a new keyboard and like my E key is already blasted with red paint and I don't know how that happened. Uh, where am I going with this? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. E key, battle paint, stealth, metal. Oh, they don't want to play the rules of infantry. I could, I guess, I could also kind of see that too. Even though, like, it is Battletech is kind of combined arms. Oh, you doing touch of oblivion? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I should, I should just get a silicone cover. That's probably not a bad idea. Ahoy, ahoy! How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I am painting the big robots and it's going pretty good. Which why? Which is doing that fun thing where it no longer shows my stream as I'm streaming, which is cool. Building some silver enough right now. Fuck yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm working on the. I did. I've been doing a lot of like speed painting, like plague monks. I'm been working on this war dog, and some other assorted bullshit. It's been going pretty good. I've actually, in terms of like hobbing, I feel really, really good recently. I wanted to do more hobbying yesterday, but I took a nap. But I still managed to do quite a bit. I still managed to do quite a bit. It's gonna be nice. I did not. I I because of like prepping for the um. What's it called? For the four-year anniversary, a lot of my weekend was taken up by planning stuff. So, um, I, uh, I, I'm going to have more of a free weekend this weekend, so I might use that to get some, like, I want to get, like, the Lord of Rings works and stuff ready to party. Oh, 
Also, something I forgot to mention too. I got we got new uh, new Gumbud, uh, not Gumbud, Howbud art. Check it out. I had a lot of fun with that stream, honestly. Check it out. Uh, my, uh if you know, uh, actually, I should probably show this. This is actually kind of a big deal. Um, what's it called? Uh, Kua, my Kua, very very cool VTuber. She's kind of like a Dinpa. She's like a Dinpa little. He's like a Dimpa desktop buddy. Recently, a hobby shop where she was at got broken into. Uh, and in order to kind of like help out with that, she did some commissions. I don't know. I, I assume I assume somebody's like how like stinky things. Oh, she might have actually stopped the. I think she might have stopped the commissions. Okay, yeah, she looks like looks like she stopped, so I cannot chill. I'll show I'll show Kiwa anyway. I'll show Kiwa anyway. Kiwa's very nice. She was in uh, one of my Necronica streams way the fuck back. Uh, there we go. Copy link. Get a shout out for her. Oh, look, I did it. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. He do sip me the soda. Soda that make you stink. <laughs> How you doing? We'll dull it down. Uh... I kill it to shine the metal has. I've I've noticed that like when I do a lot of like varnish stuff on metals, it's not too bad. Technically, worst case, you could always paint on top of it again, but yeah, I I I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. Depending on how many coatings you put on there. Oh, so you're just saying you're just saying that the Halbud's a gamer, so that's 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 what that's why he's stinky. Okay, that makes sense. Everybody everybody knows that the smellier you are, the better you are at video games. Which is why I am terrible at video games. Out of, <laughs> I think I'm eyed at video games. I've, I'm, I'm neutral smell. If we pull out the smell alignment chart, it's um. I feel like the smell alignment chart would be like one axis would be like um, like stinky and not stinking, and then one would be bad, and then one would be good. So like you could you could get the alignment of like stinks good. I don't know what I don't know what not stinks bad would be like. I guess not stinks bad would be like a total like I guess it'd be like a hospital smell where it's like the smell of intense clingers to remove all traces of a smell. Something like that. True, 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 true. I've been told isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I guess I I guess I am don't stink bad. If we go by isopropyl alcohol, that is absolutely don't stink bad. Fuck. I'm so I'm I'm sorry, Steve. I read Gak and I thought Gacked like the fucking um like Final Fantasy singer dude. I I know Gacked has like a career doing like his own music. I back in the in the Halcyon early weeb days, that was like my association with Gacked was like guy that does Final Fantasy music. And it's like at uh, some nebulous age, Gacked is kind of like I'm not, I'm not, I calling saying Gact is twenty is wrong, but Gact kind of lives on this like age continuum where like he could be sixty, he could be forty. I don't know. How old? Hold on. How old is Gact? I have to know. I have to know how fucking old Gact is. Okay, Gact is fifty. Okay, so like now, now, now he does. He looks a little bit more fifty now, but he doesn't look bad. I think this is. I think this is Gak. I think this is a newer Gak picture. Hey, let me let me let me let me put a picture of him. Well, I don't want to call Gak a Raythu because that's mean. I would not call anyone a Raythu because that's like the most like the, oh that that tis be the most fucked up of shit you've accused them of. But yeah, this is, I believe this is Gact recently-ish. And it's like, in theory, I could see maybe passing like early 30s. Maybe. I don't know. I still think he's kind of got this like strange, ephemeral, timeless quality to him. The vampire, Gakupo. Gakupo's the, voc uh, the, the Vocaloid one, right? I thought there was a Vocaloid that was like roughly based, that was based, it was based on his voice bank, right? Sounds right. 
Uh, yeah, call it, I think like Va- I think he would appreciate vampire more than Raythu. But once again, I don't think any, like if any if you describe someone as a Raythu and they're like, "Oh, cool, I'm jazzed by this description." You have to like you have to report them. You have to report them to authorities. What masquerade clan is he? Toreador. Gactus Gactus Toreador um absolutely as I, I think I feel like that's a safe bet as kind of like a musician and wanting to look kind of like pretty. And didn't he didn't he do isn't Gact famous for like he has like a quote about like how to finger blast someone? Like it's like that or some other sexual move where Gact has like a um the hell's going on. To be fair, it's not even a weeb thing at this point. I mean it is, but also it's like older weeb. Like this is this is like back when I was in high school, sort of like 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 play playing Final Fantasy um Dirge of Cerberus when he was like a big character in that and the guy who sang the theme song. Dirge of Cerberus is um not a good game, but it was a game that I enjoyed playing when it was new. It's like a Final Fantasy shooter where you pl- like third person shooter where you play as Vincent. But it's like technically a canonical sequel to Final Fantasy VII, though I don't know how canon it is anymore. It might not be canon at this point. Well, Crisis Core, was, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. I thought he he definitely did the theme song for Dirge. He might not have actually been in, because you are right. I think in uh, Dirge of Sur- in Crisis Core, that's like Genesis, which I believe is a character based off a of Gact, which is also why that game has like never really been re released in any form. Because like it turns out when you base a character on like a celebrity that much, uh, rights become a bit of a bitch. Gact releases finger tutorial on YouTube. Oh god. It's okay, that's the thing I was thinking of then. Okay, yeah, I know I know that's a thing, and like Gak Gak is the kind of person where like I could believe he has fucked a thousand women but has never made anyone come, if that makes any sense. Like I could totally believe that. I'm sure he's I'm sure he's fine. It's just some something something about the man has this property of just like stuff happens. Like JFK. Like J- like JFK has 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 been known to have a pretty high body count, right? Oh, then it just how you doing? We're talking about Gax and his sexual prowess, I guess. Like JFK fucked a lot of people, but he did the very much like wham bam thank you man. Like I think I think there's like actresses that are on record as saying like fuck like like having sex with JFK was like the best two minutes of my life or some shit. I would I could also believe that I could also believe he's one of those dudes. It's like. I am big into tantric sex and I only have sex for eight hours. I would also believe that. I could believe both of those things in equal measure about Gact. I don't know which I would rather be true. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. No, I would would rather the tantric thing. I think I'd rather the tantric thing because that would, that would imply that like he's having a better quality of life than just being like, yo, my name's Gact. I put it in and I shake a bunch and then it's over. And then I go get like my coffee, and then I sing a song, "The Wild World of Gact." <laughs> oh, you're just saying the third option is he's one of those people that like I love having sex, but having a boner is weird. And you're like, how's that even work? Like, don't worry about it. Don't 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 worry don't worry about. It. We mostly just hold rocks in our hands for eight hours, and we call it sex because it's technically communing with Mother Earth. And you're like, Gact, I don't, I don't know if that's um. I don't think that works the way it works, but then also, like, why would you question? Why would you question Gact? Jail public. Hey, there we go. Nice. I'm saying all this, like, absolutely fucking bizarre shit where I'm like, I'm... I cannot get inside one of the, the uh, like, the little pipes, like, the little, the little coils, which is fine. This is also kind of one of the things where, like, a little oil wash would kind of, kind of help me out for that. Oh yeah, no, they call they call it his uh, the president's aspirin. They call it the president's aspirin. How you doing, Gingwen? How you doing? Um, where basically, cause like J- JFK was um fucked, like, and I don't mean like like a mental thing, as in like JFK is it considered political? Hell, oh, Iron. Uh, how you doing? It's probably fine. I feel like once you get into talking about JFK, it kind of moves beyond politics a little bit. 
Yeah, because incredibly satisfied sexual frustration. Yeah, that feels that feels like it's Gak's new perfume line, sexual frustration. But yeah, no, Jeff JFK um had a like he had a he had a lot of genetic issues. He also had um what's it called? He had an open wound from World War II in him. From what I understand, he basically had like an open wound. He had like a back brace on at all times. Like he was a, he basically like lived constantly in pain, which is why he didn't give a fuck about like a lot. Like legitimately, like like normally when the president rolls around uh in the presidential limo, uh like Dallas hated him. And usually when that happens, they would put up like a little protective shield. And and JFK was like, no, I want the people to see me. And then if they shoot me, they should go ahead and shoot me because I'm the president. And I shouldn't be scared of the American people. Also, I don't give a fuck because I am in constant pain. If they shoot me, I can sleep forever. Like that was kind of JFK's mindset. And then Lee R. V. Oswald did tuck him in. Some combust in the car. If you if you if you go by the Bill Cooper theory where he was injected with there's a lot of conspiracy theories about the idea of like a shellfish toxin bullet where like you would shoot someone with like effect effectively like puffer fish poison, but like a little dissolvable dart. So like you would you would go up to someone, you'd be like, pew, you, sh- you would shoot them with the sleepy time dart. And by sleepy time, I mean the forever sleepy time dart. And then they would um they would pass. And then since the bullet was like an injector bullet would dissolve. Then they don't have to, they don't have to deal with the consequences anymore. (laughs) And then, and then, and then the perfect conspiracy crime. That was, that was, that was kind of like, like I said, Bill, Bill Cooper was an interesting guy. Like he was sort of one of those like. From what I, I I forget exactly how I would describe it. Like Bill Cooper would be like if Alex Jones believed his own bullshit and carried a gun with him at all times. Like Al- Alex Jones is not a good dude, but there's been several times where Alex Jones has like dropped character. Like when they were going to take his kids, he's like, ah, I'm Alex Jones. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an internet man. I'm just a, I'm just an internet guy, even though that's bullshit, but whatever. Like as, as in like, it's, it's, it's like, even if it's a character, that's still a thing you're doing, and it's still kind of riling up a lot of people in a way that's not great. But Bill Cooper did not have that off switch, but also he was like a little bit more seasoned at the time. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I I, I think it's 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 less that I th- did I don't believe that Alex Jones. Be- I believe he believes all the stuff he says. But I also believe that, like, he's willing to throw his ideals under the bus if for the sake of money and or, like, not going to jail. Like, uh, spoiler, spoilers about Bill Cooper. Bill Cooper got into a fight with the police and I forget if he took his own life or if he got went down in a gunfight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the, 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 you know, the history they won't teach you in the books, um, a.k.a. history knowledge that only makes you dumber. But. Like I said, like, like, like Bill, Bill Cooper went down swinging. Bill, Co- Bill Cooper went down swing. I, the funny thing, it wasn't even like. It, 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 it wasn't the, the, the Bill Cooper thing wasn't even like I, uh, the government saw me do like, I knew too much. The government's taking me down. I believe he got into like a fight with his neighbor and pulled out a gun or something to that degree. He bas- basically doing gun things in a way you should not. How you doing, folks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hold on. Nice. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I mean, I as 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 I can kind of understand the fatherly urge to do whatever for your kids, but also like I don't know, not 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 a, not a, not, a, not a great dude. Not a great dude. I like conspiracy stuff. Not he's not the kind. He's kind of the exact opposite of conspiracy stuff. I like really. My history teacher, aka football coach. That's one of those things that I feel like could be a bit, but could also be one hundred percent real as well. Just bottle up. I have destroyed my gamer sups, and now I must go to gamer sups classic, aka water. 
I love my gamer subs, Walter. <laughs> How you doing, Fox? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm painting a chaos night. It's going pretty good. Oh, I I thought I, I thought I thought I accidentally poked an area on there that I should not. Technically, they do make gamer subs light, which is just caffeine free. I kind of, I kind of always like like pff, why would you get that without caffeine? And then I'm like, you know, it'd be kind of nice just to have that for like late at night. Like I I got this I got this stuff from them that's purposely like sleepy time, uh, which is good. But like I I can drink that in very specific windows, very specific windows as opposed to like the caffeine free stuff. I could be like I could just have whatever now. I mean the, the thing is it does taste good. That 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 that's kind of the real point. It does it like this is not me shilling. I do legitimately like the flavors. It do it do it do it do be tasty, but also at some point I do I do need to sleep. Yeah, I guess I guess a half and half mix would be possible too if I got that. I don't know. I might I might be due. I'm I'm doing a thing where like I'm not hurting on cash, but because of like the big uh car bill that got paid, I pretty much got like no fun money this month. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting, and then maybe after that might give me some more. Also, some other stuff. I want. I want to give me some mulch. No, just as a just as a snack. No, I want to. I want to. I want to get me some mulch because I want to do a little bit of like uh, lawn redecorating. I want. I want to do a bit of lawn redecorating at some point. Yeah, the sleep stuff is pretty good. The tricky thing with it too is also you have to drink it really, really quick, or else it like oxidizes. I think it's because it has magnesium or something. Some, some something something to that degree. They're like you basically when you mix up the sleepy time variant, you gotta you gotta drink that shit within like an half an hour, I think is the recommended. Or it or or it gets a little bit of a funky. I've never let it sit for that long though. There we go. Yeah, I'm just getting all these little little bits and boops and bops. Like, I probably still need to highlight the plates a bit more. I... Also, this is the first time I've kind of made the trim and this copper, like, different colors as well. Snort a line. I I'm sure people have done that. That feels like something that absolutely has happened, and I bet it burns. I bet, I bet, like, I don't, I don't even know about, like, I, I don't want to recommend that to try, because I... If somebody told me that that shit is also incredibly dangerous, I would believe you. Um, but also, like, um, blah, 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 blah. I could, I could absolutely, totally see like that, just like causing, like, yeah, yeah. If you do it that way, you get brain damage, and it burns. I would, I, I, I would, I wouldn't recommend the brain damage or the burning part. Like, we've, we've all had food that has harmed us. In like a non-lethal way, like I, I've done, I've had, I've had spicy peppers. I haven't, I haven't done like a proper spice challenge in a while. Ostensibly, I still have. Um, has it come in yet? I did get those gr those grimy hot sauces. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll eat those on stream. No, I, I don't know how spicy those are supposed to be. Like, I don't, I don't know if they're supposed to be like like death nut levels. I did throw out my death nuts though. Mostly, mostly because, um, mostly because they just got old. Like, I've had the death nut, death nut hurt, and then, um, I believe I just let it sit in my kitchen for too long, and it was just, oh yeah, no, it's just, it's just bad now. Is, is Jay Schlatt one of those, like, YouTube, like, I will do whatever for a dollar, and I am incredibly responsible? But like, but like Zoom, like one of those dudes that I'm like, I've never heard of you, but I bet if I went on YouTube, it's like 10 million Zoomers love the J Schlatt. I have to assume that's a thing. I have to, I have to assume that's a thing. It's my, it's my, it's the way my boomer brain works. Oh, oh, he's like Jerma. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. As usual, whenever I see Jerma, he's just like a like a goofy guy, and then you see Jerma fans, and you're like, "You are, you are all very intense people. You are all very, very intense people for what is ostensibly 
Not 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 the not the shame Jerma. I'm sure like Jerma seems like a nice dude with his shit go like together. Some of his fans are legitimately fucking bananas. Oh, he's like one of those Mr. Beast. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. You know, I've never actually like. I feel like at some point in my life, I need to sit down and watch like a single Mr. Beast video in like an incognito tab. Like I'm aware of who he is in a real broad sense of like, this is the guy that is like the most popular YouTuber. And he does, he, he, he's kind of the guy that pioneered the current iteration of like, what is clickbait on YouTube? And then now he just kind of gives away piles of cash and then like that also just. I'm sure every time he gives away a big pile of cash, he like writes that down as like a business expense or some shit. Is a New York. Oh, so he's like, hey, I'm driving over here. But like a guy. Ah, OK, I'm learning. I'm learning now. Has become more meme than man. Do you ever think Germa stares at his own reflection and goes, my God, what have I become? I have become Jeremy. Why am I phrasing it like that? I don't know. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely sounds like. The premise sounds fun, but I, I, I bet if I was to watch a video, I would get nothing out of it. Not a new gods of fear. You need to play Fear and Hunger too at some point. Seems 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 neat. I would like to I would I would like to give that a go. I didn't I did enjoy Fear and Hunger one quite a bit. I did enjoy Fear and Hunger one like a pretty pretty decent amount. It was certain it was certainly fucking hard, but I I had I had I had a blast. Yeah, my 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 gaming is kind of like. We've actually been in like in a very, very good year for games or just like I feel like recently there's been like a lot of bangers come out. Like I still haven't got I still have not got to sit down and play um, Unicorn Overlord. Like that was a game that I've been just very excited for and I just do not I, I don't know when I'll ever get the time for it. I might never play Unicorn Overlord, which is a problem. Or Dragon's Dogma, too. That's another game that I know I will like. I enjoyed the first Dragon's Dogma a lot. Oh yeah, I like I I've heard nothing but amazing things. I just don't know where I would find the time in my life where that would that would hit. Do Unicorn Overlord first, okay? Maybe maybe that's the game. Whenever I sit down and do like one run of um Slate Aspire, I should just boot up, uh, Unicorn Overlord and just play like I don't know like a stage or something like that. astroturf the body and mass amounts of cash from oh 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 so there was like fucking oh fuck an ominous third party group i guess i guess that wouldn't be too surprising that 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 that, that doesn't seem like particularly surprising news also brian lyon thank you for the follow welcome to the workshop welcome 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 how you doing working on some chaos nights while i'm learning about the dark truth behind mr beast aka i know nothing I mean, I've liked, I've liked previous Vanillaware games, and I do like tactical RPGs and stuff like that. It's kind of like those strategy games. So, like on paper, I know I would like Unicorn Overlord. Ah, no. hey, readjust the legs. How you doing? How you doing, Brian? How you doing? I'm working on a Chaos Knight War Dog, and it is going pretty good. I'm doing. I'm gonna have to like rehook up my air conditioner now. Uh, like up until last week, it was still like I would still need to run the heater in my room, and like now it's like oh it's it is, it is now it is now just all heat all the time time. Yeah, it seemed cool. Like the the, I think the thing is like if I ever had time to sit down and be like I'm gonna play Unicorn Overlord, I feel like I should use that time on like minis. <laughs> Yo, are you another know Chaos Lights bar? Yo, let's go, let's go. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. This is this is this is this tis but be one of my babies. Uh, if you would like to see one of my bigger ones, I think I zoom out. There we go. Here's here's my, here's my two large lads. Here's the here's the wailing worm, and then here is the pound of flesh. My night aberrant and my night despoiler. The the link real weird. There we go. I'm glad you like them, Elliot. I 
Chaos Knights, like I, I have a lot of armies, but Chaos Knights is the only one that in theory I could run a fully like 2000 point list of fear of like entirely painted models. I admit mean, that's a lot of cash. That's a lot of cash. So it deserves my time. I I'll have to I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to I'll have to I'll have to, I'll have to figure out when I'll have to figure out when the fuck I can check it out, but I do I do want to play it some more. A drip. A drip. God damn it. I'm my my it's just my usual of like I am oh god no it got even wetter somehow. Ah. Use a different brush. There we go. And just touch it up with like a little bit of metal around the excess. Plus us usual oil wash. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely the kind of person that like I get myself wrapped up in like a big deal any project. And kill my LDS. Yo, let's go. I I still need to take mine to the shop. I have been I've been primarily a painter uh ever since like COVID and stuff like that. And I'm try I'm trying to like really make it so I could like skid like skid I try to say like skedaddle and fucked up. Try to skedaddle down to my LGS. I, I found out recently, actually. So like I I don't know what's up with where, where the fuck I live. I live in this bizarre nexus of um like various uh like various stores, right? And I found out there is another game store 20 minutes away from me that I have never been to before. And apparently they do historicals, I guess. Like they I think they still do like the typical like Warhammer and like some other games, but like they they they, they it seems to have like a pretty decent historical bent, which I was surprised. I was like, how the fuck did I not know about this? I was looking up like the Middle Earth uh, strategy battle game, and I think they had like a small league there. And I was like, "Oh, wait, what? How the fuck did I not know about this?" So that means I live where I live a hobby shop that does like gunpla and has painting supplies, a full blown LB LGS to my south. Probably shouldn't give directions. Uh, another Warhammer store that's maybe like kind of closest to me. Like specifically, like a Warhammer branded store, and then I got this apparently new bonus LGS that I have never heard of. Yeah, it's fucking wild. I, I'm cur I'm curious what the scenes they're like. It's like my my current place actually has like a reasonably healthy variety of games, like um like they do like Moonstone, Song of Fire and Ice, uh, Infinity, Star Wars Legion. Shatterpoint. Also, apparently Song of Fire Ice is getting like a tactics game, like a skirmish level game, which is kind of wild. And build up the community. Well, I mean, I mean, how did a community build it wouldn't be too bad. I don't think. I mean, finding game stores. I don't I don't want to say where I'm at because like the thing is I don't live in like a particularly large, like metropolitan area. So, like, in theory, I should not be nearly as blessed by all these stores, but for some reason I am, and I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what has led to that. It's, it's, it's legitimately fucking bananas, and I, I do not understand what's up with that. But it's like, I, I've been, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, I live in the nexus of all these really, really cool games. I should actually play some of them. <laughs> I'll see TCG on mine. I mean, that makes sense. Like T TCG is incredibly good, like for stores. Like it's just it's just easy to keep stock on them, and like the returns are always pretty good. I guess that's true. I mean, I used to like the my my very first LGS memory was um. I would need to go like I believe it was like an hour. I would have to drive in high school about an hour to find a game store that did any sort of like magic. Like I think they had like war game stuff, but at the time I was primarily interested in magic. This was uh I want it was it was Alara Lorwyn standard. AKA that's when that's when fairies were like at their worst, where like a fairy deck would just lock your shit down and you could do nothing. Uh Mistbind Click. Whoever thought it was a good idea to give fairies a tool that tapped all your lands and gave them a 4-4 flyer. Uh, that was nuts. 
Though with power creep being power creep, I legitimately wonder if that would even still do anything in standard these days. I'm mostly an EDH player, though. Really blessed. Yeah, I guess it's just I guess it's just a luck thing, though. But yeah, I had I had to super drive out for that one. And that was kind of like my general experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because that was that's when they had Notorious Strong. I forget if Notorious Strong was actually used a lot during that era. That's all good. Have yourself a good night, Cree. And thanks for stopping by. And thanks for letting your cool boss know. About. Also, uh, Zanori Mori, thank you for the follow. And welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? I am working on my Chaos Knight War Dog, as we're talking about just like the fact that I live apparently in a very weird, high density LGS location that I'm not taking advantage of. That's gold. I'm trying to keep track of the various metals I am using because I'm definitely going to need to touch up a little bit. Generally, I like the Proacro, but I swear the ones I use are always like incredibly like thin or something like that. Scout Hut. I think that's like reasonably common because like that's us. That's something that is kind of interesting because like from what I understand in like um, I don't know if it's necessarily a UK thing. Or if it's a general European thing, like whenever I hear people uh, in Europe talking about war games, it's a lot more club based, or like they kind of grow out of a scene like that. I I was always used to like, would you like to play a war game? You got to go to the store, and like not that you couldn't play with like your buds at home, but it was just like, if you wanted to play with more than just your buds, that's where you went. I actually really like um. The Poor Hammer guys, like the Poor Hammer podcast, I, I think they have what's probably the coziest setup where it's like they they all play inside of like, um, I believe it's one of their brothers in laws like basement. And the basement has like a bunch of wall storage where like everybody could keep their models there because it's like. Instead of needing to like pack up the models each night. Like, hey, why, why, why not just leave them at their brother's house? Like they know the step the brother in law's house. They know where he is. Yeah. What's up, Waffle Cat? How you, how you doing? How you doing? Well, if you like Warhammer, I am Halbernot the Mimic Elf. I'm a miniature painting VTuber of the Nurgle and Skaven variety. I'm currently working on a Chaos Knight War Dog. It's too damn. That's, that's, that, that, that is a mood. I also do think that, like, I, I think a venue-based location isn't a bad idea, though, because, like, a lot of, like, in my experience, a lot of stock for game stores sit on shelves, and it's nice as a customer, just to roll and be like, what do you have? Uh, what do you got is, yeah, this is a war dog huntsman. So it's like a little baby chaos knight. And thank you for the follow. Welcome to the workshop. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working on the lead. Space is a treasure. But yeah, I've seen a, like, a lot of these like places that do like kind of like coffee shops or like vineyard. I think because like, but like the thing is like if you're a lot of times maintaining stock in a lot of those is kind of tricky. Where it's like, okay, you you go to you have the LGS and like unless you're actively continuously churning through the stock, a lot of it just sits. And if it sits, that's just money not being made by the game store. Like I I do have like I think it would be very cozy. But like if 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 when I retire, I like to say when, but like I hopefully it's not an if. Um, I would really really like to open up a game store, but I also know that'd probably be the best way to like burn all my retirement money. Yeah, meta, also yeah, also like meta based sales for stores, or then you had like War Machine, where it was like back in the day, a lot a lot of stock was so like poorly supported and also some of the older sculpts were so ugly they would never sell i liked war machine back when i i got i cut my teeth on war machine for people who are like new for today um but like there was a lot like there was a lot of old stock that would just never sell because it looked like shit and its rules were bad so it's like a lot a lot of nis models were had like the big chin syndrome which was not ideal actually hold on there this is getting runny There we go. Yeah. Oh, 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 uh, Waffle Cat. Did you did you hear the Emperor's Children news today? Did you did you hear the news? 
If you did, I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. Oh, that's just basically a lesson why. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it seems it seems very risky. It may just be better just to eventually get enough money and just rent out a space. I don't know. I mean, it's still it's still like a nice little little fluffy fua fua dream of just like having just being the guy behind the counter with my miles and miles. Uh, not yet. Okay, so um, this might be a little mixed. So basically, on the on the Games Workshop site today, they were like, "Hey, Emperor's Children, uh, are not necessarily going to be included in the new Chaos Space Marine Codex." Uh, but they are going to be getting like a a separate index, and the, the like the a reasonable theory is that that's kind of like a slow roll to a full proper like cult codex like Death Guard and crew has. So some people are pretty jazzed about that because like in the past before that's led to some really nice models. I know Worldly just kind of had like a meh launch. Belsinger by the models. Ah, I. On one hand, I do feel bad whenever stuff gets squatted, but I, I, other, other than the, the, the Stormcast chapter, the Stormcast chapter stuff was kind of surprising, but I was, I was not too surprised when they're like, yeah, Beastmen are going back to the old world. I was like, yeah, now uh, they were kind of barely in Age of Sigmar to begin with. I, I, I think if Skaven were not like the headline faction of fourth edition, I could have also seen them being like, yeah, we're, we're barely touching Skaven these days. Hello, Rufus, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm painting this Chaos Knight. Yeah, that forward world. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty reasonable, too. See, Revim giving the whole upgrade of Stardews. Yeah, I, I, I mean, also, I think a lot from what I can tell, the Emperor's Children range is pretty old, so maybe it'll get some new shit. Hopefully. But yeah, I, 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 I feel like on one hand, it's like, I feel because like, it's kind of like one of those things like, oh, is this like this? Is the, for some people, this was their first time dealing with G-dubs, like squatting a whole bunch of stuff. But also for me, this is not, I'm used to this. It's, it's, it's been done a bunch. Not, this is not my first rodeo. I'm definitely going to go back and touch up some of the metals if you're like, wow, how there's a lot of black spots on there. You're right. I'm going to wait for it to dry and come back for a second coat. Yeah, that 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 theoretical person, which I'm theoretical is not true. I mean, there those people do exist. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stop. You sh are you caught in ad limbo? It, according, weird. According to my thing, I should not be having ads for like four more hours. That might be Twitch fucking up on me, though. Hold on, let me see what happens if I refresh my stream here. Li are you lying? Doing all right? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you like it rope it so far. Yeah, weird. It says my next, it says my weird ad break is starting in like. Like four hours. Weird. Yeah, I think, um, I think like, uh, Matthew was like, like Ma Matthew, isn't your Stormcast? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I know your Stormcast army is second edition. Which I, which I guess I kind of knew that that was like not that that particular sub faction. They were, were, I still think even now Stormcasts get a lot of model. Like like there's just so many Stormcast models, and a lot of them were just like this is a dude, this is a dude with some big armor and he's doing big dude with armor things. And like 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 I the people who bought into like that sacrosanct chamber shouldn't be punished for that. But I do believe that's a games workshop. Like you probably should have cut the brakes a little bit on all the new Stormcasts. Because I don't think a lot of them were really doing anything new or exciting anyway. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a games workshop problem and their fan base is suffering for it. I can definitely agree with that. Like, let me do a little stretch. Like the horse heresy stuff. I am I'm not too surprised about that. There is a There we go. There is a like uh iron there, like there's a pretty reasonable like okay this is a a rumor but like I it's a rumor that at least to me has a reasonable bearing based on Games Workshop being Games Workshop The rumor goes is that Games Workshop is heavily segmented in a bunch of different smaller departments 
And because of this department seg uh, segmentation, resources are kind of allocated based on sales. So what they really, so what they wanted to do, so like, hey, let's say that you were going to take a Contemptor Dread and you were going to run it in 40k, right? Uh, but that's a for that's that's a Horus Heresy model. So when you bought that to run 40k, according to the checkbooks, that looks like a 40k win. So the the idea was that they would do effectively kind of like yeah kind of like weird interfactional infighting. Now nobody has come out and said like yes this is absolutely true this is correct information you have here. But also also I don't know how you would find out anyway though. The thing is um previously the painting phase used to be really good for that. Um and now I'm still really bummed that Peachy left the painting phase. I don't think it's like a his fault thing. So basically, from what I can tell, like they was created differences between Peachy and the original two people. But I really liked how it kind of turned into like, I thought the cast had like a good dynamic. I liked all the guests they brought on. I do wonder if there's kind of a weird thing where it was like Peachy and then these two other guys who are friends of Peachy. And I wonder if they kind of resented that. And that's kind of led to some disputes. If that if that uh if that era of painting face was still around, we could maybe get some more answers or some better theories, but like who who the fuck knows now? A little bit more. Yeah. And like as usual, like I've been so in the past, prior to working for the guild, I have worked at various human office jobs. And it is a very common thing. Uh, it's a very common thing. It's like, it's weird because objectively I'm like, hey, we all work for the same organization. We should all like do good and try to benefit that. But there's some people that see, they get real competitive and things that don't matter. Oh, for Rufus and for anyone. Okay. I should give a, I should give some context. There is a guy named Peachy. Peachy used to work at Games Workshop. He's worked there for many, many, many years. And then when Duncan left, he became the replacement Duncan as like the tutorial guy. If you do not know Duncan Rhodes, he, if you've ever looked at a Warhammer tutorial um, from like the earliest era, like a, like a YouTube Warhammer tutorial from like the earliest era to like maybe like 2018, 1920, 2020, it was not super long ago when he, when he decided just to go solo. But yeah, basically he, Peachy also did a similar thing left, join a podcast called The Painting Phase. Oh yeah, because like, oh yeah, Peachy did some tutorials too. Also like Peachy and Duncan worked on a lot of stuff together. Like from what I could tell, for being like a, a worker at Games Workshop, like like if you were just like a dude uh, or, or like, or, or lady in case of like Louis Sugden, if you worked as like a, like a person doing a lot of creative stuff, it seemed really neat. Like, it's not like a fun job. How you doing, friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you probably saw Peachy before, but so, like, on the painting phase was the podcast he was on, also I can see print line, mold lines on these fucking tusks, and I hate it, but whatever. It's far too late now to give a shit. Um, a lady. But, um, what's it called? Uh, Basically, it was the painting phase was just like a podcast where it was just like these two other dudes and then Peachy joined. And what was neat about it is that for a while it became like the Games Workshop Gossip Quarter where they would have like ex Games Workshop employees and they'd talk about their time working at Games Workshop. And usually the, the common reoccurring trend was like, oh, it was a dream job. Management absolutely fucking blew. But also, it, they did, like, you guys know, like, the game industry thing, where it's like, if you work at, like, like uh, you're like, oh, I love video games. I want to work on video games when I grow up, because, like, they are my passion. I am going to go work in the video games industry. And you get ground into dust. You have to work, like, ridiculous hours. Your pay is shit. You don't have, like, any real job security. And the thing is, you like some days you might just be like, oh, fuck this, I quit, this is not worth it. And a lot of them do. But there is kind of that knowledge that, like, you are working on video games. Don't you want to work on video games, video game boy? Isn't this your dream job? And you know what? If you do leave, there are 
millions of other people that also have the same dream. And Games Workshop was like that. So like like I think I think Louise uh Sugden had like it pretty bad too. Like she was developing like real self-esteem issues by the way she was being treated. And um like how management was giving her shit. And it's kind of, it's kind of that thing too where it's like, why are you freaking out so much? You get paid to paint little plastic figures. You should be happy. You get a you get to work for the biggest miniature company. Uh, in the entire world, painting little plastic miniatures. Isn't that the dream job? And then you would find out that, like, everybody who knew Duncan Rhodes, Louis Sugden, Peachy, they got paid, like, a ham sandwich. How you doing, HR? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, they got paid, like, a ham sandwich and, like, James Workshop is, like, like the inside of his couch cushions and money. A.K.A. fucking nothing. Yeah, the Blizzard scenario, the thing is, like, like once again, Blizzard is, I also think Blizzard has very powerful lawyers for, like, a lot of, like, the real, like, the Bill Cosby room is, like, the funny thing about the worst aspects of Blizzard, it's, like, you would have to, like, if I made up shit about Blizzard, it would not feel bad, like, it would not be weirder than, like, actual stuff. Come now, paid another thousand. Well, it was it was not only that, Rufus. They were talking about like, like it was apparently it was more granular than that. There was there were there was an excuse. There was something like the idea of like, what if you were good at sculpting goblins? Like like this is even just a painting thing. What if, what if you what if you're really good at goblin weaponry? And like like yeah, sure, like it's fun to do a couple of goblin weapons. Now imagine you have to do nothing but goblin weapons. And if you're like, you know, I would, I would like to maybe work on a different project. Like, could I do like a space marine head or fuck, maybe some space marine weapons? They're like, no, we have a big release coming up and we need a bunch of goblin weapons. So for the next, like, however much time you're going to be goblin weapon, Jim, you're going to make all the goblin weapons. Glissy's to the max. Exactly. Get the get the min max the glizzies. But like, it's that kind of shit that will like drive you fucking nuts. But like, everybody worked there. Well, basically, like the, it was it was such a absolute like shitty thing that like a lot of them just one day realized that like I am working in hell and I quit. Duncan was sort of like the first one to do so, so he left, and that kind of sent like a. Oh, because, like, Duncan was actually, like, a really big part of, like, Games Workshop's early... Because, like, Games Workshop used to not have, like... Like, they had White Dwarf, but, like, they had, like, no internet presence. I'm pretty sure it was, like, Duncan and maybe a couple of other people. Like, Peachy might have even been part of this. As doing, like, hey, maybe we should make, like, tutorials for this YouTube thing. Like, um... And that was a kind of a radical idea. But after a while, like he like the they, they, he Duncan said, fuck it. And like also another thing too, when you work at Games Workshop, you're not allowed to post other things on like social media, like other companies. Duncan Rhodes used to like historical, still does actually, from what I understand. So like he he paints historical, he painted historicals the entire time he was at G dubs. He could never show a soul. Like, I mean, like I'm sure he, like if you played him at like a game store. You could see a Duncan Rhodes like original historical model. Like by original, I mean like one he painted. But like his Instagram would never have that. Eight hundred of Wojak. That that feels like mental illness to me, especially. I the the people that sit down and make Wojaks like eight thousand million of them, especially the ones that are supposed to be like real hideous, so they could like share them around the internet for trolling purposes. Those people need to see. Jesus, a therapy, a shrink, any anybody, anybody. Chef at a casino I work couldn't show anything. Really? I guess I could maybe see. Like, wait, what was well, actually? No, what what was the reason for that? At the casino. I'm legit. I'm legitimately curious now. I believe you. I just I'm just curious what the logic with the casino was. So yeah, so Duncan left. Um, a couple like Duncan leaving was a big deal because like he was the face of the he was the tutorial guy. Um, 
Oh no, Flopsy, my mistake. Oh no, I fucked up. I made I made a fucky wucky. I will now explode into a million bits. Um This is what. But um like Duncan left, it was a big deal, and I think Peachy left, and then there was also like a weird thing that after like they left, it, it was it was the only hands era where Games Workshop was like, you're not allowed to post your face into tutorials anymore. You're not you're you're not you're not allowed to post your 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 face anymore because clearly if you get too famous on the social medias, um you are going to get a following and leave us. Which of which of course is like the dumbest corporate bullshit. Like, hey, maybe if you treat your employees right, they'll want to stay and they'll like working there. But instead the games workshop, you know. Which is why like I don't doubt the fucking um like dueling departments uh theory of like why stuff gets moved around to like ages between ages sigma or deal or whatever. How you doing, Edless? How you doing? How you doing? We're talking about G dubs as a company filled with nightmares. As as usual. Oh, speaking of things that are not filled with nightmares, I checked the magnet. Uh, it was not like it did not glue into the tank. It's just that the magnet just kind of fell off the actual gun. So all I had to do was just reattach it, and we're good to go. I need to I need to work more on the uh, buh, 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 buh. I need to, I need to work more on that still. But they're they're coming. Priceless invert indeed. Uh, how many bits you got over? By the way, like what's 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 drawn you in bits? But yeah, honestly, a lot of um, a lot of uh, those people are doing good now. Peachy is doing his own thing. How you doing, Joe Barrow? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, there's a. The funny thing is, there's that that exists in VTubing a little bit. Um, if you ever see a VTuber like quit one of like Hollow Live or Niji Sanji, and they were like, sometimes they will turn to their past lives. Um, which which I know. I know, I know, I know. Some people in chat are familiar with, but like because of the non-compete clause, they're allowed to stream as their old VTuber self, but they can't use a model, so they have to. Yep, yep. There you go. I knew Matthew would know. You, so they had to use like a weird PNG, or be like face, like without, like not face cam, like no camming and stuff like that. Exploding your bits. Imagine trying to find the ones that go into the void. I oh yeah, all those like gray bits on gray carpet. That's um, that's a mood that haunts me forever. It's fucking purple flesh. Yeah, luckily, yeah, luckily, people who are leaving are doing pretty good these days. And there is something to be said too about like even if you leave on good terms, the uh, the 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 like big corpo to in back to indie pipeline, it's pretty successful for VTubing. It's like. It's kind of it's kind of the same way as like the whole. Actually, this is, this is a weird parallel where it's like you get treated bad, um, you leave your fan base is like we liked you for you and they come with you and then the original company is like what did we like what happened here maybe we should be more jerks <laughs> maybe we should be more jerks and thus the cycle continues again. Yeah. Hello, Whiplash! How you doing, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me get this little lumpy fuck bit over here. Uh, which... Lumpy fuck bit is my favorite, uh, Sierra point-and-click adventure protagonist. <laughs> That's a joke that doesn't even make any sense. But hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! If you do not know me, I am Howard the Mimic Elf. I am a miniature painting VTuber of the Nurgle and Skaven variety. And hello, Lemon! How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Alright, let me... Let me shout. Oh, how, how did the how did the Valkyria Chronicles go? How's that going today? How's that going? Ah, uh, come on. We get a bot in the middle of a raid. Eat shit. I hope that was a bot, because if not, they, they picked a very bad time. Uh they they picked a very bad time to do a fake one. And anthropomorphic dog. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for the follow and welcome to the workshop. I mistyped. There we go. Look at this up somehow. Ah, oh, it was a space at the very end. There we go. I accidentally included a space. But yeah, how's everyone doing? If you do not know me, I am Habernot the Mimic Elf, miniature painting VTuber of the Nurgle and Skaven variety. And speaking about weird anthropomorphic dogs, this is my Chaos Knight war dog as a huntsman. So it feels, oh, did you finally? Oh, is that the first game you've ever finished? Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. 
That's that's a oh yeah, Chaos Knight War Dog. It's got the it's got the chainsaw, it's got the flamethrower, it's got the little turret gun up tippy top. You know, all the classics. Technically just infinity. Infinity's a pretty good game. Uh, yeah. Listen, if anyone is ever gonna play Chaos Knights, you have to you have to magnetize it. This is like Chaos Knights are so dependent on their weapon that if you magnetize it, you will basically triple the amount of army you can army because if you want to change models, you could just move the weapons around. It's so good. Like, like I can understand not wanting to magnetize like Space Marines or Guard or whatever, but if you're running Chaos Knights, I beg you to magnetize them. You will not regret it. So we never knew if I'd finish it. Well, I'm I'm, congrat I'm glad you were able to finish it. I'm glad you had fun too. I've heard nothing but good things about the, the that series. I'm sure, one of these days, one of these days, I might get around to it. Your turbo leap. Run up the board, kill. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that kind of like a meme build where you? I I I don't know her name, but she's like a scout in the game, where you kind of like do the you do the baton surpassing, where you sort of just like driver deep into enemy lines and just murder the fuck out of everything i'm vaguely aware that's a thing that that i think you can kind of do if you feel like min maxing super hard or maybe not even that hard i don't know i don't know one of these days i would like to give infinity another chance but like it doesn't pro not probably not anytime soon i don't know I'd have to, I'd have to, i'd have to make sure that the meta has changed where i'm at and unfortunately i think the meta is extremely try hard I avoid that. Fuck yeah. And not every early 2000s RPG was easily breakable. A lot of them could be. Not all of them. Get this little... Get this like little energy conduit thing. Like my game's about doing everything. Oh, it's, it's just like... I mean, I, the thing is like, I, I don't mind when you could break a single player game. I think breaking single player games is fun. It's when it's when multiplayer games get broken that There we go. So let's, let me zoom in really quick. There we go. Can I make my lights a little brighter. There we go. So once again everybody who during the uh what's it called? Oh fuck, I need to do the flesh around here. Everybody who d helped towards the new uh, camera, uh, Charlie sent me a bunch of links for where to get that camera lens, like way to fuck cheaper. So that might actually be happening in the future-ish at some point. Oh, I could do Unchain. I I mean, it's I get I guess like I don't know. the thing The thing is, I feel I feel like if the game has like a gentleman's agreement, like like yes, this game is meant to be broken. Break it the fuck. Uh, in single or multiplayer, that's fine. It's just it's just when that's not the goal, and then you can the issues arise. Bring myself some. Met. I mean, I mean, I I I think you definitely play. Also, too, I have to imagine that like if you played it that way, it would be very very boring to watch. So I think you I think you made the correct choice, having fun with it. Let's see, first person uh, to develop juggling and fighting games. I mean, I mean, juggling is is isn't like I don't know much about fighting games. Isn't juggling like considered like a pretty like legit way to play? I guess. It's supposed to shoot rockets. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I I don't know them. Ex I I haven't seen them, but like the idea of giant spears to shoot rockets, like I would I would subscribe to that web zone. <gasps> Oh, back then it was bullshit. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. It just it just kind of became acceptable. Okay. Flesh color. Never delete the. <laughs> yeah. I, I. I. Oh God. Just do you imagine being on the receiving end of the first ever juggle? You're like you're just like watching, and you're like, stop. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you stop? Could you stop? 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 Please? Please? No, oh, that's not the right yellow. I put some, like, I have to be really careful with the dark yellow, because if I don't shake it enough, it kind of turns, like, green, which I guess...
that, that came out like way brighter than I would like. So I'm gonna mix it with like a little bit of brown stuff. There we go. The hard cap on combos. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, being a first guy, the the uh, so you're doing shenanigans. Everything's fair. I mean, on one end, that's true. And like, if you're playing like a tournament, but like casuals, like I remember my first real experience with fighting games. Fighting games, fighting games. I'm not gonna like. I'm usually kind of whatever on the is Smash or fighting game debate, but in this case, I'm going to be like fighting game as in like Soul Calibur was sort of like my first real fighting game I got into. And boy, howdy, you could do like some real like bullshit stuff in Soul Calibur 2. You could, you could, you could, you could be a real cheesy fucker if you felt like it. Public lobby, let me see if I want a funny shit posty. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I guess, I guess like that kind of went away when public servers stopped really being a thing, which is kind of sad. Because, like, is it basically, like, Team Fortress 2 the only one that, like, I'm sure others have active-ish private servers, but I feel like TF2 is probably, like, the one you really go to these days if you want that kind of thing. I'm gonna do a yellow stipple, stipple. Effectively, I'm gonna just continue to mash layers of yellow into this brown so I can kind of build, like, a corroded pattern that builds up into a yellowy kind of tone. Just a hue of orange. That's fucked up. Big, big if true. Big if true. Yeah, really, just is Valvin in these. That's still that. Honestly, I for some reason when you mentioned Valve, that just reminded me. Have, like, has everybody seen that new picture of Gabe that's been floating around? Like, like thin, thin Gabe Newell. Like, I'm glad he's doing good health wise, but it fucks with my brain because he's been a big lad. He's been a big lad ever since I've known him. So he is like. Maybe not trim, but like definitely. I mean, part of it is probably Gabe is old. Gabe, Gabe is old as shit. Wait, let me, let me, let me. For people who have not seen Slim Gabe, hold on. I was, I was curious if I typed in Slim Gabe. Okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting me. Let me see. Let me see. Gabe Newell. There we go. I type in Gabe Newell, it goes Gabe Newell weight loss. What's the newest picture of him? I'm 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 o I'm only seeing festive Santa pictures of Gabe. Oh there we go. There we go. Here we go. I found I found I found the I found the new slimmer Gabe. He's definitely oh, oh you just oh you just posted it right after I downloaded. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I I missed yours. That's my bad. But yeah, wait, <laughs> wait, no, fuck, I grabbed the wrong image. Oh, did it do the thing where it stacked a bunch of images on top of each other? It did. There we go. There we go. All right, come on. All right, come, come on, computer. Post the post right image. Hey, I mean, he is wearing a green shirt. Like, look at, look at him. <laughs> now there's four of them. Like, look how, look how good Gabe looks. Like he's he looks he's he's Grandpa Maxon. He's got his he's got like a nice haircut. His beard has been trimmed. You could you could say that the soul is gone now, but like I don't know. He no, he's not AI generated. Like I, I mean, they probably did the obligatory amount of like airbrushing because it's a I think it's from like a news like a magazine article. Yeah, he do, okay. He does kind of got Robin Williams vibes. I can kind of see that. Yeah. Found this level of video games again. Is Valve even really doing anything with new games anymore? I know like Half Life Alex was a thing, but uh, I I I don't know I don't know I've not heard also much drippier than I would like. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to get you're allowed to get mad at gamers if you're in this position. You got to deal with gamers. You got to deal with fucking Epic Store. You got to deal with just like bullshit. It looks smexy. Oh, why do you say smexy right now? Not being fat, fucks. Yeah, no, exactly, Rufus. Exactly where I'd be like, it's. I'm happy for him. He looks good. It, it, it does absolutely fuck with my brain. It's like, have you guys ever had like a friend with like a full on like beard and you see them shave it off and it just looks weird? Like, I knew a guy that, like, basically his entire life he had a beard, and one day he's like, oh, I'm gonna mix it up, I'm gonna shave the beard. Looked fucking bizarre. I'm like, who the fuck are you? 
I mean, sixty one's pretty old. Like, like I, I'm not gonna say he's like, like ah, the best years of his life are over, kind of old. But he's definitely like, he's grandpa range. Like, sixty one is comfortably grandpa range, and good for him for being comfortably grandpa range. He is, he is Pete Grandpa. He's still doing, they're still doing VR stuff. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I would still like to get, I don't know, I, I, I think getting VR at some point. Is Bill Gates? I, I mean, I assume he's not dead. I don't know what he's doing, but. I, I don't know. I don't hear much about. Then again, I, so, because on my Twitter, I purposely hid, like, all the latest news and whatever, I am actually extremely detached from uh like what is like popular news like 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 what is currently going on in the in the in the world um it's good though i don't have to worry about all the shitty stressful parts but i am a little bit clueless on everything else you know what i think that's a fair trade off though i would much rather be happy and out of the loop than miserable and like clinging on like every like twitter update I'm okay. I'm okay with that. If that makes me like, I don't know, like escapist or whatever. Who gives a shit? A reunion. <laughs> I don't think I've seen. I never really watched much Mega sixty four. To be fair. Oh, hold on. Except the order of my slides. There we go. Same, yeah. If yours, uh, also Rufus, if you need a crash, I totally understand. Do it, do what you gotta do, though. You, you know, you know your own body better than I do. I, um, yeah, I don't know. I have, I have detached. The thing is, I was already kind of detached from society, but like, I found, I found my little micro society, uh, on the interwebs, and I like it much better, so I'm gonna stay there. How you doing, Mittens? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? I'm working on my cast night again. And when people say that, like, isn't it weird that we live in society? I'm like, nope, you do. I don't. I'm just, a, I'm just, a, I'm just, I'm just a funny little guy who's just painting models. That's all I need. How you doing, Mintz? How you doing? I'm working on the chain sword. Even if you can call this a chain sword anymore. No, it's not very sword like. This might, be, this probably is. I'm very bad at remembering the specific names of 40k weapons. So if you're like, how that's not, that's not chain sword. I know it's like a chainsaw. I forget if it has like, I forget the exact name of this particular variety of chain. Oh, oh, way too bright. No, it feels like a mentality. It's a good mentality to have. I, I feel like I go together. I'm doing like pretty good. Like, I, like I still contribute. I still like pay my taxes and like interact with people from time to time. Oh, you need to supply eye drops to your cat. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's a, that's a very noble goal to stay awake. I did do that. Do you guys ever do the thing where you see like an exotic pet and you're like, go on to like a little Google tangent of like, what would it take for me to raise that pet? Uh, let's see. Like I, 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 I saw, I saw, I, I saw from, uh, I'm blanking on the name. Uh, but about it was about like a hedgehog. I was like, ooh, what would, be, what would it be like to own a hedgehog? And it turns out the 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 answer is way too much work. Way too much work to have a hedgehog. They seem nice though. They 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 they, they seem they seem neat. Yeah, I functionally I'm still very similar to a neat, but like I do, I do go out. I I I am employed. I do go out every now and then for like errands and stuff like that. And I guess technically just being just like a, a adult is not this, this side is splotchier and this side is like wetter, I guess. Excuse me, in a cage like a hamster. It sounded like they're, 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 they require like a lot of specifics. I could be wrong, though, you know. Oh, the cats are so exotic. Oh, see, I my my big bad one is owls. I know objectively. Owls are not pets. I know anytime someone has an owl as a pet, it's not a pet, it's a rescue. That owl just cannot live in owl society. 
mentally I can understand that. I can I can process that information. But yes, what Aslan says, anytime I see one, I'm like fluffy, 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 fluffy. I want one, I want one, I want them. Look at them! Look at the fucking owl! And then I go look up stuff online and they're like, you are a fucking idiot and you should not do this. And I'm like, you're right. I, I won't. I physically cannot own an owl. Like, I just do not have anything that an owl would need. Most of all, a ludicrous amount of money. But I, the, 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 the brain worm has never fully gone away. Oh, thanks for Fox Farmer. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I can see, I can see opossums. I, from what I understand, opossums are pretty chill. I don't know if they domesticate well, but as like, as like a base idea, the idea of a little possum buddy sounds really sweet. Oh, my fluffy cute. Th that, I mean, that's probably true. I, I don't have a fluffy cute animal. I have nanners and I love nanners. Nanners is very cute. She's not fluffy though. Like every now and then you do want to, you just want to mush your face up into some fur. You will be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you want to do that? Oh, I mean, listen, listen, any, any bird that's featherless is going to look fucked up. They're always going to look fucked up. That's just how it is. They are, they are made to be feathered. And once you take that away from them, they're like, why am I like this? God has forsaken me. Oh. Way too heavy at the bottom of this. I think it was like at the very end, I was getting like a couple little of these little bits. I do dry brush on the little tail and let's get the stuff on the back. Very much wild animals. That makes sense. A lot of them are like that. A toucan parrot. Yeah. The wizard and Jimmy Buffett. I mean, Jimmy Buffett wizard sounds very powerful. Or from, yeah, the guild lets me work from home. So I, I do, I do, I, I spend a good portion of the day in pajamas. Um, I am currently uh, very cozy right now. <laughs> I'm extremely cozy. The best me. That's fair. I'm glad. I'm glad you like your fluff, son. How you, how you doing, Fox? How you doing? I'm currently working on a chaos night, but I'm adding a little bit more. Little, I about said a little more sprungly. I'm, the internet has damaged my brain. I no longer have adjectives. I'm trying to add a little bit of like a texture, uh, to the chaos night, so that I can kind of like up the brightness a little bit while still keeping that that kind of um kind of like corroded, falling apart, kind of gross, grody texture stifled look to it. And my brain is like, you must describe that as scrungly, because cause internet. I also never got the feet with this too. There we go. That was another area where it's like I need to I need to get that a little go. But yeah, birds, birds, also, birds in general seem pretty nice. I understand that they need a lot. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like if 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 I had like if time and money were no issue. Um, I kind of want like you guys know those like really big, like white fluffy dogs, like the Great Pyrenees. I think I would like one of those, but they require a lot of roaming space because they are gigantic. They they are they are they are gigantic large lads, and they need, they need stomping ground. I guess Margaritaville. Oh, the most forbidden of magics. Corgi would be good, too. I know for the longest time I wanted a husky, but, like, huskies yelp, like, a lot. Or, like, a little, oh, like, a little wiener dog would be nice, too. A little Dachshund, I think. I think that's what they're formally called. But I, 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 my family, extended family had one. It was just, like, a little... Like a little goofy wiener dog, and you can just kind of like roam around, and they're very, they're very, like for a small dog, they were reasonably chill. Like I've, 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 I've lived a lot of my life dealing with dogs with like small dog syndrome, but in my experience, like the the smallest dogs that were the most chill were um, wiener dogs and pomeranians. I don't know why I've had really good luck with pomeranians. They've always been like, yeah, I'm like tiny and mostly made of fluff. How are you today? Like no, no, no yapping, no, 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 like getting into fights, just, just fluffy. Corgi husky. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a great combo. Holy shit, that's a great fucking combo. Oh, ferrets. Oh yeah, the the forbidden tube rat. 
It is on nice though. I think at one point in the distant past I wanted a ferret. I understand though, you have to it, there's 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 the great debate though, because um ferrets have like a stink gland. And if you don't want a stinky ferret, you gotta remove that. But for some people it's like bad. Hello, Buzz! How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Coffee Burberade. Hello, everyone. If you do not know me, I am Halbernot, the Mimic Elf. I am a miniature painting VTuber of the Nurgle and Skaven variety. What are you up to, nerd? Oh, what are you doing? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm currently working on this Chaos Knight War Dog. Oh, the camera froze. I can fix that. It happens sometimes. Oh, just got to unplug and replug. Ooh, you're painting. Fuck yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Excellent. We're back. We're back. Let's go. We're so fucking back. Got my Chaos Knight War Dog. He is still very much work in progress. Heavy air. Ooh, fuck yeah. Let's go. I remember when I was younger, my I think my family used to have a heavy I might be on crack, but I swear there was like a heavy gear PC game where you could customize your own mech. And I remember like it's like one of those games that I remember playing the fuck out of it. Okay, so I'm not hallucinating, that's good. I remember playing it a lot, but being really bad at it. Because I think I just did not know what I was doing. Like my 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 prior reference to video games was like an N64. So like having a bunch of this like bullshit weapon options was like this is a lot. There's a lot going on. No, rats are good. Rats are good. The reason I I legit did it for, what's happening here. Oh god, I hope it's not. Oh, I hope it's not doing that thing because I reinstalled VC Face. Uh oh, I hope not. I had that happen in the past when I installed VC Face because like of a digital uh like a like a virtual camera issue. If that shit's coming back, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. I should probably ditch VC Face because I am uh what's it called? There was, there was a TV show. Then again, there's a lot of TV shows that uh that that came from like very odd properties. There was a World of Darkness TV, like there was a Vampire the Masquerade TV show way back. I have not seen any of it. I bet it's just like the purest of um, soap opera cheese, and I'm very curious about it. <gasps> oh yeah, there was the BattleTech cartoon, the one that that I know wasn't that one so bad that the, that it's basically like in universe propaganda now, where it's considered just to be like even in the BattleTech universe, like a dumb lopsided like Saturday morning thing. It's heavy shit. All the it's kind of wild. I know, I I, just, I have to figure out how many episodes of it because if it's like a long soap opera, I don't I don't know about that. Uh, I, the plan this week though in the Discord is to still watch. Um, yeah, the I, oh definitely. I I think I want to do a Garth Marenghi's Dark Place marathon. Um, what's it called? Uh, on Halloween this year. Still what? It was three D, but okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's that's what you do for budget reasons. I still need to watch. Yeah, Dark Place. Um, people who do not know Dark Place, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place is sort of like a... It was both a Stephen King spoof and also a, like a low-budget TV spoof. The idea that there was an author, uh, author named uh, Garth Marenghi who was like Stephen King and that he was like a horror author Artur that wrote like a billion books. And then he put together a... There was like a TV show... Uh, and you both get to see clips from the show and then the people acting as the show's cast members and you get like behind the scenes footage. What happened to Prime Subs? They should still be around, I assume. It's very good. How you doing, Dark Lord? How you doing? Welcome. welcome. You know, Garth Brunke's Dark Place is like real, real quality, real fucking quality. What, what do I do for the meat? I'm debating. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take one drop of the meat color.
I'm gonna take one. Hold on, let me let me actually show you my palette when I do a little bit of mixology. I take one. I got one drop of the meat color, and then I'm gonna take a drop of where's my like ivory tusk. I need the Raycar flesh equivalent. There we go. I'm gonna take Griffin Claw. Your paint, your minotaurs. Nice. Oh yeah. Uh, I hold on. Make sure that my hand is not covered in. I have not taken a good proper picture of him yet, but check it out. Him. He's ready to go. This is a staring Moloch. The man, the myth, the legend, the biggest of boys. Well, it's all good, boss. Have yourself a uh, have yourself a good rest. And take... How you doing, Clay? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was thinking about so like previously I set some uh, minis to like Dark Souls music, and technically there is the there is the bull demon. But I was thinking about setting. Uh, I found that the capper demon, which I forgot the capper's stuff is more like goats, but ah, eh, still got like horns and the theme is ominous as shit. So I was like, that could be fun. Get like a very light. Get a little bit lighter because I'm gonna use this as a dry brush. Oh yeah, make sure you get your point, yo. Paint your terminators. Ooh, fuck yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. What uh what chapter? What chapter? I ask chapters and stuff a lot. It's cause I'm very forgetful. I I I I I forget how I definitely had trouble with the Capra Demon, but like the normal amount, I guess. I wasn't like, fuck this, I hate this game. I I did beat them. I did beat Dark Souls 1. It was it was it was a reasonably fun time. I enjoyed I enjoyed my fat rolling big smog armor wearing fuck. Absolute unit motherfucker. All my dry brushes have accumulated a fine layer of dust. Your own successor chapter. Fuck yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Tell us we stand absolutely guys. Fuck we do. Fuck yeah, we do. Yeah, I, I've, I've, so I haven't beat Elden Ring. I've beat Bloodborne. I nearly a hundred percent at Bloodborne. I just did not get the other two endings. I got, I got, I got, uh, become as squid. And I was like, that's good enough. I never played Sekiro, though I want to one of these days. I'll admit playing that last night. It looked like a lot of fun. I'm going to be real. And then I never finished uh, Elden Ring, though I need to do that. I need to finish Elden Ring at some point. Put this on the dry brush palette. Get that like nice level of like not too much. It does look it does look really fun. I. Too dry. The tricky thing is, like, I'm fairly solid at like regular ass dry brushing, but anytime I try to do that, like, artist opus, you should slightly dampen your brush for dry brushing. I always get like the weirdest, kind of like streakiest dry brush, and I don't like it. But supposedly that little bit is supposed to help stuff, like, not look powdery. Okay, this is. Maybe like a fleshy sort of like. It has turned out like reasonably well. There we go. Same, yeah. The thing is, like, I know once I get good at it, I will have unlocked true dry brushing power. So that oh that oh that no that's the thing though is I have a damp sponge I got the damp sponge. I think it's just because I I don't know the ex because I'm doing like a home homebrew sponge. There we go. That's 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 the way to phrase it. And like I try to do like the little dippiest dip that ever dipped. Uh, but maybe clearly I need to get a artist opus branded drying sponge wetting sponge and testing palette. And like I do think that the guy has legitimately good tutorials, but I also 
it's annoying when you watch a mini tutorial and they use a lot of like uh there like there's a there's a guy I don't think he's active anymore, but it was like Geek Gaming Scenix, and they did like really good terrain and like could you could you recreate their various products on your own? Yes. Was it still annoying that every time he was like, now pull out your Geek, ga geek Gaming Scenix uh, molding clay and your Geek Gaming Scenix every like other little bit in Bob? Like, oh God, I don't have any of this shit. I can make it. And I get that you're selling this as like, ooh, what if you just bought ours for convenience sake? Let's see. Met a guy that heard about the about water one time. Ah, uh, just so 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 I I basically like you know how like if you guys heard of like the scam that is homeopathy where you basically um take you basically take a thing that's poison and you put it in like a bajillion d amount of water to super hyper dilute it. It's like that, but in reverse, where it's like you want to you want you want to take a paint and the hyper super little bit of fucking nothingness. As the water. With the cayenne in my eyes. I'll 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 use tears on my my non-branded sponge like the fucking heathen that I am. Ah, I mean the homeopathy's bullshit. Home homeopathy is like uh it's that kind of like intersection between like snake oil and like Magic crystal healing. Hello, oh, for mankind. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Like if you if you hear like people talk about homeopathy, um, it's always like the most insane thing. And that might be one somebody's be like, well, actually, hell, in very specific instances, homeopathy. I'm gonna be like, yeah, maybe, but a lot of homeopathy is fucking bullshit. So we got. Why the fuck out of this brush? So it's like slightly dump on. Get a little bit up in the bristles. It's kind of nice so I can kind of like dry brush over my. My white. Oh, my brother's homeopathy. You throw your brother into the sun. <laughs> oh, you froze. Brother's probably fine. Have, do you have a brother? <laughs> Hey, there we go. Okay, I've I've re I've re uh obtained the magical ratio that I need to make this fucking work. Gotta do a little bit of dry brushing because uh I don't care. <laughs> uh we're asking for personal details, yes. This is this is this is what they call parasocial fucko. <laughs> get get wreck nerd. Crazy people insist they could cure cancer. Yeah, no, it's uh like I, I can understand like a healthy distrust to the pharmaceutical industry and everything, but like there's a I've seen enough of like the 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 exact opposite route where things get like real weird and dangerous, and I'm like, I don't like that very much. Don't see it very much. No, that's fair. Do you like that? I have I have a adopted sister that I only really see every now and then. Nice enough lady now. How does I go back though? I have also helped if I use the bigger dry brush for this, but I also want to be able to reach into like I think especially though once I start getting like the other stuff around it. I'm pretty happy with this so far though. How you doing this mayor? How you doing? Welcome on. The the smear. Nice. Oh fuck yeah! First try. Uh, VTubing has warped my brain. Where now the the idea of doing a perfect snap is like ooh instant serotonin. I got gotcha. you. Well, best of luck on the test, deal. Best of luck on the test. Oh yeah, pandemic stuff was kind of wild for like people who knew medicine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 always fun. Essential oils, yeah. I from what I understand, essential oils are like they're not bad, but I don't think they do anything. I, I think essential oils are like, from what I can tell, are just things that smell nice in a way that people are like, yeah, this is probably good for you. La lavender, you know, lavender oil will will make your house smell good. I don't think it's gonna like 
have any serious medical benefits, but like, you can do worse, I guess. Get him this over here. Kind of like bringing it towards this kind of like pinky pale. It's definitely kind of building up this kind of like muscle texture. It's just vape for trad. What? You're probably not wrong. House white vape. I just think of just like. I I don't I guess this would be like a trad housewife now, but I remember like my adopted family way back used to run like a country themed gift store. Um, and I remember there's like a lot of like Yankee candles were kind of like a big part of that business. So the idea of like Yankee candle vapes is just like a like that like like have you ever just like just do you ever just like say a funny combination of your words to, your, to yourself and you're like. Just the absurdity of that combination makes you smile. That's yep. That's that's when 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 I think of Yankee Candle vapes, it's like perfect because it's just it's just two audiences that would never interact normally. Love a crazy string. I do. <laughs> Open my fourth diaphragm, and then and then finally I will be able to sing. I've been doing a lot more uh, singing in my house recently. I used to sing a lot more in like the car, but I don't need to drive as much anymore. Uh, outside of running errands, and usually I'll just put a podcast on at this point. My my usual go to like I I want to like sing very very loud in my household. Oh, Nitrous, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm working on the big robot. Uh, Richard Cheese. Richard Cheese is the best to sing all the time, forever. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. Get me, let me get this little fleshy bed real quick. Let me do that. Hell yeah. Stretch. Ah. Ah. I'll karaoke stream. Hey, you guys asked about that during the, um, during the anniversary. And I was kind of surprised the the enthusiasm. I guess I haven't done one in a while, so I think for a lot of you, just never heard me sing before. I'm not what you would call great at singing, but it's also karaoke. I'll I don't know when it will happen. I I will try to get one together at some point, though. Like I said, I have I need to I need to make sure my settings are real good for that, or else I'm gonna I'm gonna curl up into a corn cob and fucking explode. Of all that, and if I actually just take, if I take ivory tusk and go over the like horn bits with a similar dry brush, there we go. I could just use off white actually, basically just off white anyway. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of songs that I've sang on stream, but it's been so long I could basically do them fresh. I should just use a bigger dry brush for this. I... There we go. I think this one I'm going to go ahead and rinse. I am very thankful for that Goober Town video. Though. It's like, oh yeah, you can totally use isopropyl alcohol on your uh, nicer brushes. Just He's like, just do that, but just make sure to eventually go back and run them over a bit with, um, uh, what's it called? Run them over a bit with uh bu -bu 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 -bu. Mm. oh yeah there we go like brush soap or whatever ah so technically I have two big war I have two big chaos knights I have the abominant and a despoiler and the rest are war dogs initially my army was kind of like feature complete but a while ago at my shop they were selling two war dogs for like a combined total of like fifty bucks. Which is insane, considering that they usually go for like way more, and also these models have been out of stock for fucking eons. So getting getting one at this price was fucking a ludicrous deal. It should not have happened. So yeah, I made a, I made an exception, and in theory, I could run them as war dog spam. Now I think like normally I would run. Last time I checked, before any points changes, roughly three executioner two. Carnivores, two hundred. I think I have seven currently fully painted war dogs. That was that was that was kind of part of my list. So in theory, I could maybe dial that down to like what's it called? 
I could maybe do like one big boy and a bunch of the smaller ones. Honestly, yeah, no, honestly, I would love if they had like a like infantry unit. I think the problem is because with Chaos Knights, the 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 assumption the idea is like if you're going to add extra fun dudes to your knight list, it's not gonna be a knight household, it's gonna be demons. Which I get. Yeah, I I would like a Serastus though. I, I I love those I love those leggy fucks to pieces, and I was like, it's a shame these will always be Forge World. And then they were not Forge World, and now I'm like, I don't know if I'm quite ready to do another big night project just yet. I uh, I've already done quite a bit. I have I have other armies that need similar attention. But one day maybe. Eh, that would be nice. Like maybe, maybe if they end up like the 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 forever persistent rumors of like what if what if Dark Mechanicus? Who? Huh? huh? If that becomes a thing, then maybe that would be like a good like kind of like natural ally fit. I mean, they already. I mean, you could already run demons with uh with uh chaos knights. That's actually that's, that's actually pretty. It's the thing about uh, chaos demons is that they're so easy to splash that a lot of times they suck uh, individually, which is kind of which is kind of wild. Let me write the dark mechanicus book. I don't trust you to do it. I'll be fine. Oh, you're talking. Oh, you don't trust G Dubs. Okay. I mean, if I had my druthers, I would just say the Mechanicus book is the Dark Mechanicus book, and they just function both ways. But maybe you have, like, yeah, you can't take Call and Dark Mechanicus, but, like, maybe you could take something else. Like, that's, that's, kind, of, that's kind of my thought, that it's like, I don't think, to, like, I, the idea of feeling a Dark Mechanicus army is neat, but I don't know if it really neat. I mean, I know right now Ka like, Mechanicus is a real shit army. I don't know if it really needs to be its own separate, fully unique thing. I would, I would like if there was just like, like, like. Supposedly, there's going to be a, a Codex Agents of the Imperium. I, 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 I would love Codex Traitors to Mankind, which is all like the cultists and the traitor guard and like the mortal, like the mortal followers of Chaos that are not Chaos Space Marines. I would love that personally, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. And if they if they include Dark Mechanicus in there, I think that would be a natural fit. It would make sense, but like, I I I don't know. I don't trust Games Workshop to do ideas like that that make sense. So I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep my hopes up. I'm not gonna lose any fucking. I thought I got these fucking mold lines, but I did not. Apparently, they're very apparent now. I just have to deal with it, I guess. Like, technically, I could shave the... I could file the plastic again, but that's just going to cause a bunch of other issues, and I'll just I'll just say whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, what's coming up soon? It's like... I guess we just did get orcs and custodies and whatnot. Yeah, we got orcs and custodies and then maybe some other shit. Oh yeah, Grey Knights have been leaked though. Supposedly there might be that if 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 the agents of the Imperium and they get rolled into it, that would make sense. Gene Shields and Sisters, yeah. I the thing is I actually do like something that I feel like Games Workshop specialist games get really well are these big mega codexes, effectively. Where it's like the old world has like the forces of good and the forces of evil. Um Fucking Horus Heresy has, like, the Traitor Legion. I know there's also, like, Mechanicus and stuff like that. But, like, the fact that you could just get the Traitor Legions. And it's just, like, you get a bunch of lore and you get, like, a bunch of stuff. And it's just kind of like that in all one nice convenient place. I love that shit. But they'll never do that for, like, any of the mainline games. That's a good enough trip. Oh, hold on. There we go. Yippee. Let's rinse your shit out. There we go. Let's put it up. And we'll tear. Eh, I don't think that would be a bet. Like, uh, like, 
The thing with the Imperium is just that, like, in my brain, there's so many ways you could reconfigure it that, like, keeping them all in the, in the Sisters Codex makes sense. Moving them also makes sense. Like, I feel like you could basically just do whatever. Which makes, which is a little tricky when it comes to, like, you know, having a functioning war game, but, eh. But it's also kind of one of the, the nice ideas with, like, the um, one-page rules is you can, like, if your opponent's down to it, you can kind of ally between armies, like, pretty easy. Uh, like, it's literally just, like, I'm running 500 points of this and, like, 1,000 points of this, and you're like, okay. Like, this is basically, oh, wait, no, I wanted to do a, um, what's it called? I want to do a trim. Let me get that fucking there. This is amount of points for you. It's outside your faction. I think it's. I think it's nice. The thing is, I can understand why they're hesitant to it because there were editions that were like, like the soup editions, where it's like, what do you run? I run the best thing and everything. Spinner art goes in our tank that looks like a space marine. Oh, so yeah, you so you you're not. Uh, it's like one of those cheese lists that like technically is strong, but you're not. Oh god, those are kind of the worst because like those are legitimate issues, and people be like, "What are you complaining about? Your codex is really good." You're like, "No, the internal balance is fucked. The internal balance is fucked. I can't actually run anything that's cool." And eventually, I'm gonna get hit with the biggest fucking nerf bat you've ever seen, and then. All the things that should not have suffered will either not be fixed or get caught up in the crossfire. Oh, they also old as shit too. Oh, that's a bummer. I really want to say is want to get like I want to get the um Inquisitor Arcoflagellate, like the fifty four inch one, like the big boy. I kind of like that when it was like they were like yeah 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 for the for Inquisitor their models are so big they're using like orc power claws as like little add ons to their Arcoflagellants. I'm like that's cute. That's a fun that's a fun thing to do with a scale that large. Ten pain for the sons of ninth. Yep. Well that happens a lot of times, honestly. I feel like if a if a other than Eldar, which apparently are fine all the time, they don't have to worry about this shit. If you're good in one edition, you're gonna get shit in the other, which could just like once again, it's also one of those things when it's like Foolish Jedi, I am the sin. It's like um sorry, just just spread HR. It's like my 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 mouth moved on its own. It's like one of those things where um I don't know how much of this is like quote unquote incompetence from G dubs and how much is like very cynical marketing practices of like, all right, we've used so we've sold all these we need now. Now then again, I the thing is I don't even think G dubs can handle like power creep stuff like that anymore. Because their production capabilities are just so fucked. Like, in the past, they could have been like, oh, yes, we're sitting on a bunch of old models. So we should definitely make broken rules for them now. And then now they just they just can't sit on old models because they fucking churn so fast. Anger on Lord of Skulls and War Dogs because of point costs. Yeah, that's... That was, that was kind of like... That's also something where, like, I remember in Chaos Knights, because of the points of the big ones, people would just run Abaddon and just, like, him walking a bunch of Chaos Knights around. Like, oh, okay. Yes, the robot... The big stompy robot faction, it's better to run the small stompy robots. Is there only one? I believe they have three factories, but I think one of them in Nottingham is producing entirely paints these days. They they don't have good... Like, for, for the amount of stuff... Oh, Chaos Knights are... I do have a Bellacore kit I need to put together uh, from Squids that I really need to do. I need to do that. I have been letting that project linger for a while. I think it's because, unfortunately, getting a factory put together is expensive and Games Workshop is like... I've heard the idea that Games... Like, Bethesda's like this too, from what I understand. Games Workshop and Bethesda are both big, multi-billion dollar companies that like to pretend that they're small, little, like, scrappy upstart companies still. So some, some, sometimes their decisions can be looked through those lenses and you're like, oh, that certainly makes a lot of sense. You're like, why was Starfield so buggy? Bethesda only had, like, a fairly small team, comparatively, compared, compared to the amount of games they sell. Like, in, I mean, like, in terms of volume. 
as in like uh, objectively Bethesda games are some of the, like the most best selling games of all time. But like the amount of people they have on staff do not reflect that because like, ah, we can just keep doing shit we've always done. And then Starfield came out and like, oh, maybe we should like evolve our process a, a wee bit. Rooster Teeth. Did Rooster Teeth die recently? Remake Skyrim from the PS8. The thing is, I don't even think a remake would help it. The fundamental concepts just kind of fucked. They had hundreds. Well, the thing is, like, most games are made with, like, a lot more, like, 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 several studios in different locations, which is also kind of a problem, but, like, the thing is, I think, from what I understand, what I, w what I was shown last time I looked into this is that the actual Bethesda studios, that, like, the people that make the games is much smaller than you would think. Okay, maybe that was just something that was badly represented then. Maybe, maybe I was, I've been willing to bet that maybe I was given false info on that. I could totally see that. Oh, they were owned, oh! Warner Brothers is such a weird company because I feel like they can, like, they've done nothing right ever, and it baffles me that they're still doing stuff. They versus Blue Rap on the story and poof, they're gone. Ah. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I should feel that should feel more bittersweet to me. But I considering that I used to watch the funny thing. I used to watch a lot of red versus blue by volume, but I only watched season two and three because I had them on DVD and I did because I didn't have good Internet access, but I picked them up from a fucking hot topic. And I would watch the fuck out of those, but I never went like, hey, I should watch season one to get some context or went like, you know what? That was great. I should watch more seasons. I was perfectly content with seasons two and three, and then I was like, okay. I don't have I don't have those discs anymore though. I'm kinda sad. I legitimately have no idea where they Oh, I think I know where they went. I think when I moved to college. When I moved to college, I left a lot of stuff at home because I was under the belief it would still be back there for me. And unfortunately, the my, I was living with my uncle at the time. He moved to Florida. So Either my stuff is rotting away in a closet somewhere that I just do not know where, or my stuff is sold off. Realistically, I feel like my stuff was probably sold. Like if I, it, it, it would, it would make a lot more sense if you're like, I don't know, just how, how we're not going to see him very much anymore. Just put his stuff in a yard sale. And like on one end, you think I would be real bitter about that because it did add some like items that were like legitimate memories, but like, eh. At this point, there's enough time has passed. That it's just kind of like, uh, it's, 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 there's no reason to be upset anymore. The feet are going to be a little messy anyway, but like, they're not a huge bit of attention. Oh, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Yippee. All right. Let's get, oh yeah, I got metal ready. Let's, let's get some of the stuff on like actual, because like, they got like these like little metal bits. These are these are from the old Damon Prince kit. Yeah, exactly. Time has eroded my sentiments. Like, I mean, if that box just showed up on my doorstep, I would be fucking jazzed. I will say, hey, that's Curtis. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Because in that box would be like my I. This is gonna share. Like, I mean, you guys gonna know I'm gonna boomer anyway. Um, I had I didn't have an original Game Boy, but I did have a Game Boy Pocket, aka the slimmer Game Boy. That was still black and white. I did have I did have that. That was that was my very first handheld. And I do kind of wish I had that because like because that was that would have been neat to have. Now. Oh, OK, that's a metal. How you doing, Scrotus? How you doing? What else was in there? Uh, my Game Boy Advance. Really? I, I don't know why I didn't bring my Game Boy. Adva I think it's like I was already kind of cooling off on my Game Boy Advance because I think like the, the DS had kind of taken over. So I was like, ah, I don't I don't think I'll need to bring with this. I don't I have limited space in college. I'm tired. Well, this is a good peaceful stream to relax too. So maybe you can get get get, get into a snooze mood maybe. Said no red, red uh blue ten. Oh the Ruby. The thing is like I I feel like I don't know is Ruby a prof like profitable enough franchise that like somebody would pick that up? Cause like it was, it was always kind of a, 
I guess being tired from a puppy is a very nice thing to be. That's 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 a that's a pretty nice condition. Um, I, I mean, you say that as in the writer of of Ruby has been dead, like most of the lifespan of Ruby. Like, didn't he die in like season two? Like, I don't. Like, I think at this point, like, it's safer to say that, like, the, the like, he, like, I don't even know how much influence, like, other than setting the foundations, I guess there really isn't that much influence. Died in season three production. So, yeah, yeah, so that's been a while. So, I, I, I don't even, I don't even know if you'd say, like, Ruby was, like, much of his, like, original brainchild at that point. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. You know about the Ruby VTubers? I did not. Like, were they actually, like, the Ruby people, or is it, like, how I have seen, like, a Kingdom... I've seen a Kingdom Hearts VTuber before that was, like, very transparently a Kingdom Hearts thing. Been dead for a decade now. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a hot minute, like, if you think, of, if you think about it. I'm, I'm, willing to I'm willing to believe Rufus on this one. Yeah, because that was always something, when I would go to weeb stores, I would always see a lot of Ruby, and I was like... The thing is, I, okay, I can understand if you like Ruby. I tried. I've legitimately had friends who'd be like, Hal, you should watch Ruby. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I watched it and I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> it, 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 it was, I, I guess, I guess I could kind of appreciate that, like, this is, this feels like Western weebs making the, the, an anime. And like the weapon designs were kind of fun, but like, man, I could not. Oh yeah, I mean, I know from what I said, Multi Ohm's big thing was the the fights and the choreography. So I'm not I'm not surprised that he put together a series where he could like really get that out. Was this stuff? Oh, that's ooh, that's a good point actually. The thing is, I I guess Homestuck was weird, and that by the so basically Homestuck eventually got sold to Andrew Hussey by Viz, and like Homestuck had merch. But a lot of it was like merch you had to buy on their online store, which I mean makes sense. Homestuck was like an online property. But then after Hussey sold it, you would actually see like Homestuck physical volumes and like Homestuck physical merch you could in theory buy at a store. I think by that point, like the 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 it was kind of like too late though. Yeah, actually that you mentioned, I think there was like fandom overlap a little bit between not a huge amount, but I think just like a little. Little metal spikes, and then I gotta get the little magic cup thing, the speaker thing. Kind of like barbecue sauce. No, the barbecue sauce was all was all that was all OG Homestuck merch. Still, by the way, the Homestuck terrain still good. Uh, the Homestuck terrain is just like my, um, uh, what's it called? My, my lemon pig, where it is sealed in material that will keep its sins alive for all eternity. Which is pretty great. Uh, M and K were shit in the video. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, I, I don't know. So like, so like I was, but I was saying like, I would always see like in weeb stores, like homes, not Homestuck merch. Uh, like Ruby merch, so I always assumed it was like kind of sort of popular. It's the Void Dragon of Hell Lore. It really is. He's uh, he's he's living his best death, I guess. Oh man, I just had the and a lemon pig Necron list where I just fucking dropped the lemon pig as like a katan would be fucking glorious. Oh, that would oh that would be. I guess I guess technically it's built more like an Admic model. So Matthew, have yourself a good night and take it easy. Have a good. Well, okay, you say that. Uh, you say you 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 say that, Charlie. But I mean, any other lemon? Th okay, think about this. Think about this, everybody. Every lemon that was made, grown, circa January of this year, is gone. Like it's they've rotted. They've returned to nothingness. Lemon pig, meanwhile, eternal. The purity of blessed steel means that that lemon is still around. Huh? Huh? 
Okay, I need. Okay, I do need to give context because I know some people are like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" Especially like newer people. Um, so there's a tradition called lemon pigs, which is you're supposed to take make a little cute lemon. You're supposed to put little cloves in its eyes and a little penny in its mouth and be like, "Oh, it's a little lemon pig. He's gonna bring me good luck." And you stick it in your freezer. Every vil lemon is villainous. Unironically, yes. So what I have done uh, every year since is I found ways to make my lemon pigs like. I try to make all my lemon pigs like eternal. Like the first one was um, effectively desiccated. It's like it's like it's like I tried to. I, I tried to make the lemon pig like absolutely just like. So it was so dry and covered in Mod Podge that it would survive anything. Lemon Pig 2014, though. Or 2024. You say that, Rufus, but look what I have done. So this is Lemon Pig um, 2024. It was a fresh lemon that I effectively poured two-part epoxy resin into it. Um, which unfortunately cooked part of it, which is why you see that, like weird hardened white stuff. I also put it inside a plastic container, which melted the plastic, um, which is why it looks disfigured as all fuck, uh, which I consider a happy little accident. If you, if you think about it, but yeah, now he is, he is perfectly preserved. He's still kicking. He has not changed since January. He is the gacked of uh, lemon pigs. He is eternal, ageless. A, he has moved beyond your 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 view of mortality. Perfectly. Hello, Thagoth. How you doing? I mean, it hasn't shrunk. It hasn't rotted yet. So perfectly, yeah. Oh, listen, I'm a chaos boy. Dark Mechanic has got my fucking number. God, he is Citrus Mr. Freeze. All right, let's real quick, though, go to the official Nanners fan club. For everybody who does not know, this is my wonderful snake, Nanners. Let me see if this command works over here. If not, I will copy and paste some things. Eh? Eh? I might need that one. I thought I carried over all the, the, the commands, but apparently not. There we go. So what I do on the on the Twitch side is I... I am done competing. You had a good run. Is I, I make a little fan club for my snake. And she is a ball python. She I've had her for about a uh, little over four years. Like probably it's gonna be five years come September. And she is currently doing very good, but she is um Oh there we go. She is currently on the verge of shedding, so I I, I cannot I cannot pet her yet. I would like to though. I haven't got it like legitimately it's been a long fucking time since I got like a good pet on Nanners. But I mean, that's just how snakes are sometimes. Yes, and with that, fake off. Welcome to the sophomore year of the official Manners Fan Club. Yeah, let us go. I'm mostly just trying to stall because I'm trying to remember what button I hit. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Yeah, get that, get that Nanners party. I should get some Nanners emotes, maybe one of these days. I know, I know. Right now, if you're not aware, right now we do got some. We do got some new emotes. If you have not checked in a while, uh, these were done by the wonderful Echo Gummy in honor of the new Albud. I needed to make another announcement and be like really more super formal. There is, a, there's been a mascot redesign. Oh yeah, you can see him on there. This is, this is drawn by Mike Kua. So it's, it's, it's. Uh, he's normally not stinky. This is the Halbud though. He do be drinking a soda though, which I do like. I li the, the instructions were just like, he's just a little guy. Let's make him a silly little guy. And then um, she drew him drinking a soda. And I was like, you know what? Soda's very silly little guy behavior. Good shit. You have, you have, you have, you have passed the trial of the little guy. Like, there we go. I'll bud redeem when. I, at one point I did have a redeem. I, I need to... I, I I have a lot of uh, stuff I, I want to do for, like, redeems and stuff. Like, uh, I think I mentioned it briefly, but during the stuff when I was prepping for my anniversary, 
Uh, Shindig's dropped a tutorial on how to make a banging membership card for viewers to redeem it. I was like, ooh, I'm going to really jazz up the Nanners fan club this year with that, but I got to get that set up. I used to have a redeem where the Halbud would appear on the screen and you would take him over. I'm also currently getting uh, a commission, like, a little default Halbud that wiggles a lot and then, like, can open his mouth. I want to use him for text-to-speech for tabletop RPGs. But yeah, here is the official design document of the lad as well. This is, this is, this is the front and back. Lad. I gacked. Or good, goodbye, gacked. You had a good run. Oh. I, will, I, will, I will continue to show off the lad instead. All right, what am I doing now? Oh, yeah, Steve, have yourself a good night and take it easy. Have a good rest. Have a good rest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I think the first time I painted this little bit, it was... Dull? A little shinier now. Not a whole lot. What else can I do? Still got, like, a decent amount of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get, like, claws and shit. We're doing really good on time. The goal was to get him finished tonight, which I don't think that's going to happen. Or like finished, I mean like ready for a oil wash. I feel like when I finish anything on stream, what I really mean is I'm getting him in the pristine perfect condition to give him a glorious fucking oil wash. But we're getting, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And then I can put him. I, I'm so happy now. I ha I actually do have like a proper portable carry case uh, for my Chaos Knights out of those uh, those uh, totally. I don't know what they're called. They're like totally awesome or like totally useful. It's effectively like the perfect size box for exactly what I need. Like they're a little bit pricier than a typical plastic tote, but they're like the dimensions are perfect. They got a flat bottom, which is surprisingly hard. You you what you wouldn't think it. You wouldn't think like. Finding a plastic kind of like storage container with like a nice flat bottom wouldn't be too difficult, but it really was. I had to go, I had to go like looking hard because at like my local like uh, stores and stuff like that, all of them would be like very weird dimensions or funky shaped. It also helps that I discovered that like I used to use, um, will I be streaming it? Ah, uh, probably not. So, I have not, I, in the distant past, had streamed a tiny, tiny bit of Total Warhammer. I am extremely rusty about it. I just haven't played it in a hot minute. As, as usual, if that's something you nerds would like to see me do, I'm not opposed to trying it. I think probably once I get done with Deus Ex, I'll probably put it to a vote for what I do next. Uh, it's probably, I could do, I could put that on the list. Uh, Stalker. It's always kind of hover on the list. Half Life is also another one. Half Life Stalker, a couple of different options. Uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Got a lot. Of, got a lot. Of, got a lot of potential options. Got a lot of potential. Honestly, I I I never finished Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. I would totally be down. I would totally be down for 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 streaming that on on unironically. I think it's also been enough time that I think a lot of people have forgotten about it. So like now that would be kind of a fun one to bring back. For people who do not know, Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden is an honest to god real video game that was made as a joke sequel to Space Jam, where Charles Barkley performs the Chaos Dunk. A dunk that was so powerful, it created a nuclear explosion, killing a fuckload of people, and thus effectively making basketball illegal. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I have uh, I have uh, J.C. Denton's gl glasses when I when I've been playing the first day of sex. I would definitely do I would definitely do Denton's if I did the if I did Human Revolution. Cruelty Squad is also another game that like I would I would like to give a, a better shot. Last time I played that, I got all the way up to the mall and I I got I got hard locked out because I was like, what the fuck do I do? That would be another game I'd be potentially down. Like I said, I I have a lot of games. Uh, Disco Elysium is another one that I think 
I would very much like to do. This is what I'm talking about. I am spoiled for options. I am spoiled for fucking options. Like the 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 sky is the fucking limit. I know, right? I I know I know I know I know what you're gonna say, Flopsy. I know I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna say. What you're gonna say? It's not on the list, Flopsy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Flopsy. Unless you mean unicorn, uh, uh, unicorn overlord. When then, then maybe I don't know. The problem is that when I from what I understand that game is hell along. Oh yeah, no. I I I don't think I would go neutral. I would I I I feel like in a game like Disco Elysium, I would want to embrace the I am a fuck up. Wait, is it Pony Pony Island's made by the guy who did um what's it called? A he was the guy who did inscription, right? I did like inscription a lot. I know you're gonna say tyranny. I know. I know you're gonna say tyranny. I it seems like a cool game. It's just that I the, the list of other games I want to try is very, very long. It does seem neat. It does seem neat, I will admit that. I will admit that. Oh yeah, too. I know. I'm missing out on a lot of good games. It's it's my it's my curse of like this this is the curse of like being a VTuber. Like if I if I if I wasn't. I would just play whatever game that I want whenever I want, but that's not that's not the that's not the lifestyle I chose. I'm not streaming Battletoads, no. I will I will get my shit wrecked at Battletoads. I'm gonna be real. I mean you all know. You all know that. Very same. I'm intrigued though. I did Inscription was legitimately one of my favorite games when it came out. I still I still really like it. It gave me like a it was it was such a very nice package of things that I enjoy. You get like the weird meta narrative stuff. You get the kind of throwbacks to like the Pokemon TCG for the Game Boy Color, which is like a, a lot of a lot of neat stuff was going on with Inscription. I like a crack baby. The favorite, yeah, I'm back. Also, for all the YouTube people, sorry that I have not been very consistent on my days. Um. I have a collab tomorrow, so I had to switch out my usual painting day for uh, Tuesday instead of Wednesday. How long? How long is Pony Island? Legit, like legitimately, legitimately. I know there's also like what's it called? There's a couple of like weird niche horror games. Like, well, there was this one that somebody showed to me recently. It was like, it's called Carcass, which is a kind of like one of those kind of like retro PS One horror looking games. Uh, uh, it's apparently about cannibalism and bugs, and as somebody who likes both those things individually, that seems like a great thing to combine. Those, those seem those seem great. Like you guys know, I'm like legally obligated to at least try out most games with cannibalism as a pretty strong central theme, right? Forgive me. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Oh, six hours isn't too bad. Six hours. Six hours is a pretty reasonable, like one or two streams. Let me see. There we go. All right, I got that. I got that pulled up for later. Oh, thank you, Nitrous, for the hydrate. Up oh, there we go. I'll be right when I was getting ready to stretch. Ah, ah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, big pop, big fucking pop. Uh, Barbie two, Barbie two, the game. <laughs> it was a detective vacation mystery. Oh, whenever whenever I see a game that's on my abandonware, I'm always like, "Ooh, that's that would be a fuck. That's gonna be a fucking ride." Yeah, I know. Th I know that there is like a whole like scene of kind of that kind of horror. I have been curious. Like, this is gonna be shocking, everyone. Despite being a VTuber, I have never played a single Chillas game. Not a single one. Yeah, it's called uh Barbie uh Detective Barbie 2. When I talked when Barbie 2 came up, it turned into Bar Detective Barbie 2. Uh the vacation mystery for 1999. Are you really that shocked the idea that Barbie would have a game that also had a sequel? 
That is that is what the least surprise. I guess I guess it being a murder mystery is kind of wild, but also Barbie is Barbie. Barbie is kind of a wild lady. Oh, you're shocked I've never played a Chills game. Yeah, oh yeah, no, like basically any of those kind of like indie horror games, they seem neat. The the closest one I have ever played, there was a very cool game called Growing Grandpa, which is about like being a child, like exploring your grandpa's basement, which you found out that effectively him and a bunch of members of the society trapped a demon in his basement. And you basically feed it and grow it. And like the bad ending, the demon eats you. And I believe the good ending, uh, you can kind of control the demon. I forget exactly how the good ending goes. It was very neat, though. Like, that was about as close as I've gotten to a Chills game, unironically. That, that, that might be fun, though. There we go. Uh, uh, lo local, local VTuber finally pays the Chillas tax and plays like eight Chilla games one after the other. But yeah, I've never, I've never played them. I've never played them. I will, I will not play Orc Massage. Chillas is like, uh, let's go get bored. What? No, I, I, if I want to eat, if I want to eat chat, I would have done so already. Uh, Chillas is a very prolific, um, Japanese. I believe it's Japanese. He's like a Japanese horror game maker that makes a lot of those kind of like PS One style. Kind of like small indie compact horror games, and he releases them like pretty regularly. Um, and they're kind of neat, and they're they're very they are very streamable. Um, because they are pretty short as well. Like I'm pretty sure you can do a whole Chillas game easily on stream in one go, and there's a bunch of them. You're, so you're ne so you're never really like hurting for a. Uh, or new ones if you want to start fresh. Like he's done one. Like let me see if I can get you all like a link. I think they're all on Steam. If not, they're it's. There we go. Okay, I found a uh, I found a bundle of his stuff. There we go. There we go. The bundle is a hundred bucks, but like you can see he very prolific, very kind of short and cheap games. There we go. We're gonna stream shotgun roulette. Ah uh, I don't know. The, 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 the thing about the shotgun roulette game is I feel like I feel like enough people have done that and like it's a cool game from what I've seen. I like the I I I like the mechanical premise of it. But I do not believe there's anything I would add to that game other than if you wanted to see me like activate the neurons. See, I I I didn't I was too old for Phineas and Ferb. I know Doofenshmirtz is a Phineas and Ferb guy, and that is it. I have no other context for that show. I know nothing about Phineas and Ferb. Hello, Buttonator. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Working on the chaos. Doing pretty good. Is all the sad backstories. Isn't that pretty common though in like uh like kids stuff where it's like it's like the Ice King or it's like he's kind of like a kind of like a goofy mean bastard and then you find out like oh no he's a sad boy all along. And he's been a sad boy this whole time. Oh, okay. So he just had all the backstories. Gotcha, gotcha. The clips of him are randomly seen crack me up. I'm sure I'm sure Phineas and Ferb was a good show. Like I, 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 I'm I'm kind of I'm in that I'm in that same thing with Charlie. It's like I was I was like not them like huh, I'm so mature, I'm beyond cartoons, says me, man painting plastic robot. Well like I just wasn't really watching them around the time that the guy kinda of hit its heyday. I remember a long time ago, I mean like four years when I Attempted to do more karaoke esque stuff. Somebody was like, "Hal, you should sing the Phineas and Ferb theme song," and I was like, "I could probably wing this." I could not wing that. I was just like, "What the fuck is this? I don't even know." Yeah, exactly, Flopsy. Those are the two I did. Like Billy and Mandy, uh, Ed, Ed, Nettie. Like that. Kind of, I mean, I mean, even growing up is a bit much. I was in high school when those were around. Um. Growing up stuff was more like uh like Rocket Power, All Real Monsters, Rugrats. 
uh, Rocco's Modern Life. Like those were the actual like I was a child when I watched those. But like I did, I do really like Bill uh, Greenwich's Billy and Mandy. That's a very fun show. For this, this trim going. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get you, let's get you in there, Poninator. Uh, once more for people who are not aware, this is my wonderful Snake Nanners, and she is doing good. She is preparing herself for a shed, so I have not got to pet her. Once she's shedding, I want to give her a big old hug, and I want to give her a little kiss. I actually do. I actually do kiss my snake, I'm not gonna lie, that's not, that's not a joke. I can't kiss her, like, on the face, like, I usually will give her, like, a little peck on the back while she's wiggling around. I don't actually, I don't think I've ever saw the fi the finale in any movie. But yes, Poninator, thank you for thank you for the fall. Welcome to the freshman year of the official Nanners fan club. Oh, oh I hit the wrong button. Acha. Oh yeah, I was a '90s kid. I I I I think it, maybe for some of the newer people are not aware. I am. What's it called? What do you mean? Well, okay, I, I get it. Flopsy recommends stuff all the time. Alfie, because I'm pretty sure the Ed and Nelly, Eddie finale movie came out like way after I stopped watching Ed and Eddie. I, I kind of was, I, I vaguely remember hearing about it, but I don't think I, I totally forgot that that was like a thing. I do remember dial up. I legitimately do. But yeah, I am I am uh, unironically 33. I will be 34 come August. So this is this is a story of how I was old feeling even ages ago. Little metal little bits on there kind of fucked up. So I'm gonna look at that real quick. Um when I was in high school, I did volunteer work um at a elementary school. And I remember even in high school having to explain what a dial-up modem was to a child. And like those children are like adults now. That shit's fucking wild. I just take a dirt color and just kind of backlit around there. There we go. The better family. Yeah, didn't Samurai Jack have like a weird ending? Apparently, I don't. I don't exactly remember what was in it. I I did not. I didn't really. I watched like the first episode of like the Samurai Jack kind of like quote unquote reboot, like season five, whatever. I I I generally avoid stuff that um. I legitimately like. I I tried to avoid anything that came out way after uh, way 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 after the source material. I see. I don't. I I don't know. I don't miss dial up. I there's the I I like the little the little pingy like like doo 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 doo, -doo noises when it dials up. That's kind of cute. Like it's fun in a nostalgic way. But like I had a family that would not let me get on the internet except for like super duper late at night. So like it's this is probably what led to me being a weird night owl because that was the only time like the phone would not be would be guaranteed to not be in use and I could use my AOL. Uh, extra time cards to buy to like not buy to like get another couple of hours worth of internet i mean the simplicity of the time is nice i mean i don't know i i i've i i want to like sometimes i can be nostalgic for like the quote-unquote good old days but i think like legitimately like my vtubing era how has been probably the happiest i've ever been like i i mean i guess technically i do get nostalgic for like the, the simplest time, like, the, the when it comes to, like, no worries versus, like, being an adult who could do things and spend money was probably right when I got out of college. I could not land a good job. Like, I just, I just struggled to find one. So I ended up working at, like, the little McDonald's that was, like, nearby uh, the college area while I was still looking. But I had a friend that was still, like, working for a professor, so he had access to the computer labs. So me, the friend I was sleeping on his couch, and another friend, we would go into those labs, like, super duper late at night. And we would play Star Wars The Old Republic till, like, the ass crack of dawn on, like, really high-end computers. And we would go to the gas station, buy, like, the biggest, cheapest, shittiest big gulps, 
And like, ostensibly, it was a shit time because like, technically, I had a ludicrous amount of debt and no future. And Star Wars: The Old Republic is a bad game, but also like it was, it was, it was just like like the the when you buried all of that, when you buried all of that, it was hanging out with my friends and acting like a dumb teenager, but post college and playing online MMOs, which I never got to do the play MMOs growing up thing because my family my family computer was too shit for Final Fantasy XI, which who knows what the fuck how with access to Final Fantasy XI would have been like. Eh, a lot of my childhood was just like sitting around playing the N64 or the GameCube and being kind of like, meh. So like, I just sit around just playing, playing video game. I mean, that was nice. I don't feel especially fond of it. Like, like playing video games is fun. I still like video games, contrary to like me bitching. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would put that in like the, the, the super, like the super bits. I mean, I don't know. There is there 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 I can see why people are nostalgic. I I and there are aspects of that lifestyle I miss, but I'm very happy uh kind of like more now than anything. Some of the happiest I've ever been. See, we got uh I uh, yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, get, getting 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 spam calls is fucking blow. How you doing, Battle Pal? How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I paint my chaos night. He's doing chaos night could turn out very well. Yeah, definitely, definitely do not know if I'm going to be able to finish it tonight, but I think every time I'm like, I'm going to finish this model. I mean, I got close. Oh, I'm saying like, 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 on one hand, those times kind of simple, carefree. I think it's probably because this is going to sound really dumb, but like the like early COVID VTubing era was really, really fun. I still have a lot of fun VTubing now. And arguably, like, this is some of the best, like, fun VTubing stuff I've ever done in a hot minute. I do think also, too, during early COVID, the expectation of what the fuck you're supposed to do with work was a lot less. So I could slack a lot more and watch some more VTubers. That was pretty peaceful. That was pretty peaceful. I don't know what I, I but I do think legitimately I'm, I've been in, like, overall, the period of my life I've enjoyed has been my 30s. Because here's the thing. Being in my 30s means that, like, I I am not... My 20s was filled with, like, lots of cool stuff, but also, like, a hovering fear of, like, having no money and, like, having to do, like, creative financing things. Like, the amount of times where I had to calculate when I could withdraw money so I could suck down a late fee but still have money to pay for rent was uh, stressful. Extremely so. Not fun. Do not recommend that shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna say like I'm rich, but I'm gonna say like I got my paintbrush. I'm gonna say like I I don't have to fear about like needing to like 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 a check might bounce. So that's nice. That is, that is, that has that has been that has been fucking swell. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about, like, older areas of, like, internet, I do miss that, though. I, I think if I kind of really like, 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 late 2000s internet, I think was pretty, was pretty nice. I've had some pretty good late 2000s internet things. I'm, I'm still firmly on the belief that, like, uh, a big mistake was, like, the kind of, like, post uh, phone internet glut. That's literally me for real, for real. Hopefully that it's literally you was for, for the uh, enjoying your 30s and not like the creative financing so you don't starve to death. Hopefully it's the nicer bit of that, that statement I said. All, all in the recesses of this motherfucker. Take a big sip. Uh, do you remember that Ernest goes to movies? I oh, it's for the money. Oh, well, hopefully you can crawl out of that. That's a... hopefully you could escape that. That 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 is hell, and I would not wish that on my greatest foe. I so I have been aware of the Ernest movies for fucking ever. I've actually never seen an Ernest movie. It's just it's just never happened. I just it's just the, the circumstances to me watching a oh you're okay you're spinning on anime merch okay you're doing fine then you're doing fine. 
Yeah, I I I'm aware of them. Like I know there's like Ernest goes to jail. Actually, that might be the only Ernest movie I'm aware of. I might only know of Ernest goes to jail. And that's only because I've heard about it secondhand, because like that's the one where I think he gets like put on death row and he gets electrocuted and it gives him like superpowers. Yeah, I don't know. My family just never rented them. Like, it, it's kind of funny thinking that, like, early on, a lot of, like, my, a lot of my taste, not, not taste in movies, but, like, my access to movies was dictated by, like, what was available? What was your family getting at the time? Go on the movie rotation. I gotta, I gotta stick to the, fa the, the, uh, the, um, I gotta stick to, like, the fantasy theme, though. This, this, this Thursday, we're gonna be watching Underworld Evolution, which is fantasy enough. I will make an exception for Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, though. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, um, in in October, that that will happen. We will watch Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. That is that is that is an exception I am willing to make to the rankings. Absolutely. Have I gotten like a proper? I actually do not own a proper anime figure. Like I own like Frame Arms Girls, which are anime figures, but they're like FAMO. That makes any sense. So, so my, so when it, when it comes to the movie night, uh, here's my general metric for what I consider fantasy. Like, is it, a, is there a good chance that somebody in the movie will swing a sword and like maybe fight like a weird monster, which underworld technically matches like pretty well. I think legitimately every movie that's been on that list like even Mortal Kombat, oh, even Mortal Kombat has kind of like barely sidled into that category. I'm 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 willing to uh, uh, I'm willing to excuse like with a sword for like unbelievable bullshit martial arts. I think that's a fair compromise. Yeah, exactly, as exactly. Like Ernest. Oh yeah, I have a I have a frame arms uh base lord, gold eye, and an architect. The architect is not complete though. I also have a bullet witch knight. But, oh then Garth plays then the dark place definitely counts. Fuck yeah, let's go. I do not need to betray my ideals. It's very unbelievable. That I that I definitely recall. Because it's just kind of doing the thing like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, 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 st I feel like at one point Garth Marenghi does like a Steven Seagal where he's like, I know all the martial arts. I know how to kill a man. And he just does like the most like stupid fucking just like flail martial arts of all time. Get in the shoulder pads. But yeah, I, the funny thing is I was actually starting to get into Plomo before I got back into mini painting. There was a very narrow period of time where I would get home from work, I would open up a Plomo kit, and I would uh, work on that while I watch YouTube videos. Um, like I said, very, very narrow. I didn't get a huge amount of kits done. Uh, a lot of them were like the Ava kits in particular. I really do like the Ava kits. Oh, fuck. I don't think I've ever told you guys yet. So. Recently, though, I did order a very special model kit off of Ami Ami. Technically, despite me being a huge fucking Dorcas, this is going to be a shocker, my, my first order from Ami Ami ever was done earlier this month, I believe. Let me get, let me get the rim. Actually, no, I'll, 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 I'll show you what I ordered because it's going to blow your fucking, it's going to blow your tits straight off. Even if you don't got tits, you're going to grow them and then it's going to explode. Are you guys, are you guys, are you guys ready to see this bullshit? There we go. Is there a better res is there a better resolution for this? There we go. I need those tits. I don't have too bad. How you doing, Jedi? Are you ready to have your tits blown off? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, well, it'll blow your tits off, and then it's gonna be so cool. Your tits are gonna grow back. 
gonna be great. All right, I ordered this model kit. It is a sesame ball where every little sesame seed is an individual piece you have to glue on. Isn't this thing fucking wild? Isn't this a wild fucking kit? Yeah, it's sesame plabo. Yeah, it is like that cup noodle kit, but way more advanced. So, I chose the slowest shipping because shipping from Japan is fucking expensive. Whenever this comes in, I will stream me complete. It comes with two of them, I believe. Or maybe it only does one. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how many balls it comes with. But I will build this on stream. I will, I will do an endurance stream and build this on stream. So everybody look forward to this. Everyone look forward to this nonsense because I'm going to make it real. What do I want to put it? There we go. I'll make it real. Yeah, we, we, got, we, got, we got double. We got hell but on screen already. There we go. At least my tits will be destroyed from the stream. Too bad, nerd. Too bad. So, hello, EC. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's it's um, it's a kit that's like a meme, but also borderline sadistic, and I'm ready for it. I'm I I th I, I part like the 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 howl of right now is like, oh golly gee, that's gonna be a fun kit, and then I'm sure the howl of like whenever that arrives, I'm gonna be like, oh oh no. Uh, so how you doing? How you doing? I'm currently working on a Chaos Knight War Dog. It is not. It's getting there. It's getting there. But I need to finish some trim. I need to do... Oh, God, I never got the metal on that. This one had a clear metal bit. This one did not. I might just leave that vent. Oh, I should fix that. Plumbo. Plastic spoon. Oh, God. Is, is it just like a spoon? I, oh, I will say, there is a very fun Tamiya model kit. There is a Tamiya model kit that is a drill. And you're like, how that's, well, that's not that weird. The fun thing about the Tamiya drill is that it is a functioning drill. You build it as a hobby project, and then you could use that for like drilling barrels on like space Marines. Like it's a, it's a good drill from what I understand. It's like a pretty functioning drill. Inf model kit costs infinite money. Fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah, whenever I get that sesame ball kit in, I that might be one where I start it like at at, uh, at noon on a weekend, and then I just keep going till it's done. I don't know, like it's one of those things that like maybe it's quick, like 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 I don't know. It's like clip it out, sand it. Glue it with plastic glue so it like dries pretty quick and dries pretty sturdy. Move on to the next one. There's what like ah, uh, there's a lot of seeds. There is absolutely a lot of seeds on there. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like maybe it's three hours. Maybe it's like a fucking all nighter stream. I don't know. It could go either way. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll just do a thing. It'll 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 it'll, it'll just be it'll be the sesame a thon and it'll be just like a marathon and see how long I can how if I can get that fucking kit done without passing the fuck out. That might be fun. Or just to see how far I can get. I shouldn't need to take off work to do. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'll to, I, I bet I bet what I'll need to do is I'll need to actually have the kit in my hands and look at it 
and really re- like 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 really like really just like let the weight of the situation like really click in my brain and then that's when I'll be like oh, this isn't oh no that's a um, oh oh that's a uh, oh oh I mean, you could dunk it and roll it, but it would look like shit. Like, I, I'm, I won't do that. If I listen, I did spend money on this kit, and I want it to look nice. I want it to look nice, so like, I will do it proper. I will, I will, I, I will, I, I want it to look good. Build this a sesame. Oh yeah, I got some like, not like deep tweezers. Very shiny though, so I might I I might have to paint my tweezers with like really fine matte paint just so I don't get like tweezer blasted. Try some real quick. I don't know if this is a good idea to go this bright, but I'm curious. Let's see what happens if I use like an aluminum sh uh, Oh, that's very thick. There we go. It's all good, Flopsy. Have yourself a good night and take it easy, though. Have you? A brighter color on this was necessary. I'll probably have to touch it up a wee bit. But hey, let's see. Have yourself a good sleep and take it easy. I'll have a good rest. There's been a couple of spots on this. Yep, nothing too bad though. So really happy with how that flesh turned out. Like I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna have to reuse that style for like a, a plague marine. Like I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna have to get one of those gross boys get some like real fucked up kind of pale pale pink flesh now. There we go. You paint through the camera though. Ah! So in theory I could, but like the the connection between like it helps it helps every now and then to look at the magnet like magnetization. Oh god. Very thin and drippy. I'll just go better correct it a little bit later. Um but I still mostly just look directly at the model. Just I, f I find that easy. Like, I know, like, have you guys heard just like a thing where like you're supposed to be trained um, when you're doing art to like not look at the canvas when you're working on it. You're supposed to be like looking at the subject you're focusing on. I guess in theory, if I could do it where it's like I never actually physically look at the model, I just look at it through the camera. There's pro there's probably like some potential gains to that. Like I'm sure I'm sure that would look good. I can't yeah, I can't do it though. I'm too used to this. I've been I've been painting like this. Like maybe if I had like the funny I think if I got like the little goggles that I wear on my face that like zoom in. Because I can't I can't use the other types of magnification, like the little magnifying stand, because those are like uh magical docs boxes. And um I don't want that. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to dox myself uh, to like get all real close, like real up in the folds. But every now and then, like that, like sometimes when I do paint off stream where I could like really get the model close to my face, I am like, ah, oh. I forget that this is like the standard. Like this is this is this is what most people are doing when they're working on like a Warhammer model. Like they're just putting their face like right. Oh, this got real thick. Like, just just putting their face like right up to the thing, and getting like the real good super close up shot. Yeah, but I if I let me see, I want to say I roughly keep about a foot of distance between me and like the thing I'm painting, and like it is kind of nice when I am like like if I am paint because I do look at my OBS a lot just to make sure like the stream doesn't die, and et cetera et cetera et cetera. So like sometimes it does help me catch like a little like a little flaw. Otherwise, no, I mostly just kind of go directly, just to, like keep this distance. And like sometimes it does make catching some details. Oh, I slipped the canvas. Yeah, there we go. Nailed it. Probably better for it. Maybe. I don't know. It's 
probably. I think basically this, co- this copper is now thick, so trying to thin it back to a consistency means I'll probably need to do another thin copper coat, which is fine. But yeah. But yeah, it's 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 like I have it, this is a painting style that I have acclimatized to pretty well. It's like it doesn't really bother me even if even if it's not like the most efficient like am I developing a painting technique that maybe someday might lock me out of being like a golden demon winner? That's fine. That's whatever. As long as I can paint and have fun, that's the those are those that that's like the big criteria. That's why I do this technically. If this was not fun for me to do, I would have stopped a long time ago. Four years of fun, baby. Ironically, yeah, it's been four years of fun. Like that's not even a, that's not even a joke. <laughs> Still continues to be fun. They are. I mean, there is there is that like little bit of prestige in my brain. Is like it would be nice. Yeah, I it would be potentially nice to golden me a whole demon. But like I'm not gonna like most people don't get those. So I'm like I'm not gonna lose my sleep over that shit. You know. Get these. I don't know what these actually do. There's a lot of parts in these guns that I just kind of arbitrarily paint them colors and just hope for the best. Like, like what? Like what is that? I don't know. Barrel, barrel, barrel stuff. There we go. Yeah, I think it would be fun to win a a award of some sort, though. I don't know. And like the thing is, though, some of these people have been painting since they were like a child. So like for me, for me, it's not like, like, oh, I'll never compete for me. It's kind of like more like, ah, like I don't got a time limit. Like I don't got like, I must hit golden demon next year or I will retire as a VTuber. Like, no, that would, that would fuck my shit up. And then I would, I would be miserable. But like, if maybe, fuck it, if 10 years from now I win golden demon, cool. A, a golden demon. If I don't, ah, that's fine. Whatever. That clay is just like a fun, fun little add on title. Especially because, like, a lot of what I'm going for, like, I don't know, I paint bottles the way I like. I mean, some of it's cope, I guess, but it's kind of like also like why I kind of focus on like the kind of like grim dark style as opposed to doing like the, uh, like super duper nice. Like, I, I, I personally, even though it's like an advanced painting technique, I am very iffy on non-metallic metals. Like, I see some people do those, and they go, like, way overboard, and, like, they're technically skilled painters, but, like, the result looks just kind of really weird. And then also those tip- those typically also are, like, non-metallic metals are made with, like, a very specific light source in mind. So, like, if you look at a model outside of its golden angle... Because effectively, there's kind of, like, a thing in mini painting, or technically it's just photography, like, object photography in general that every object has, like, a golden angle. Like, the, the, the view you would view it from, where it is the best-looking thing ever. And I assume there is, like, a little bit of hidden artistic skill of, like, looking at a model, like, looking, looking at, like, a couple of different poses of it and being like, this is the one. This is, this is, this is the best angle for this. And then once you got that angle, you use that as, like, this is my basis, I will now paint around the idea of this angle and that's when you really get the non-metallic metal stuff to be like really fucking pop your bigger friends oh yeah 100 percent. also i do have that thing too where it's like i see flaws when i do my own mini painting and this isn't like manhara stuff it's like you know if you're an artist if like you do anything creative you do a thing and like you're like oh man i saw where i fucked up and it's just part of the learning process and just like you know doing stuff I think generally, even if I show like my 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 whateverist model, um, like people are like holy shit, dude. I'm like, I just I just did a thing. Even though sometimes I'm starting to get it a little more now. Like, um, I guess I want to show you a thumb all a thumbnail real quick. Uh, for people who missed me talking about it earlier, and I'll probably talk it again during the schedule doodly, um, in a sec. There we go. Doodle, the doodly thing in a sec. So where is that? Oh, God, I went a little too far. I guess it's. I guess you could say maybe it's a humble brag, but I don't know. I think it's just. I think it's just confidence. But um, I may. I I'm gonna be doing a turn up twenty eight, like how to play, um, how to build armies for that. 
And I used a model I painted for that previously for the thumbnail for that. I think it turned out really well. I really, really, really like how this thumbnail turned out. Where did I put it at? No, no Gabe Newell, no. Uh, how, how, how? Oh, there we go. Look how big this thumbnail turned out. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this one. I'm very happy with the stream thumbnail. And yeah, that's uh, ironically, this is this is a model I painted as a joke. Um, I took a I took a model that's officially for turn up twenty eight. That's normally supposed to be like less than an inch high, and I expanded it like three hundred percent, maybe more. And I put it in. A lot of people, it gets a lot of, it's gotten a lot of Instagram reactions. I'm like, huh, neat. The lad. I also think that's probably some of the best, like, photography framing I've done. It's like, yeah, it's got all the logos, it's got all the stuff on it. I look like, her. yeah, we're talking about how Gaben, he's, like, healthy now? He's, he's slim, he's looking good, like, everybody, the, the consensus was, like, it feels weird that he's not fat, but everybody is like happy for him. Which which is which is which is which is a very funny but shared sentiment. Like, how you doing? How you doing? I'm working on my cast night. I'll show you the full bit once I get this little once I get that little nubbin. I need to do something to fix that bullshit. It'll look better with the wash though. Hate a giant right now. Yo, let's go. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Working on the lad. Oh yeah, I should get the get this gun done. You get some paint on this gun. I'm still thinking about it. How's the how's the how's the giant going? <laughs> I'm like I'm like wiggling my brush around and like what's what's happening here? How 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 are how are brain neurons? Oh no! Oh no! Too thin! Too thin! Too thin! Too thin! He do yeah he do be looking slim, but I'm happy for him. Good shit, Gaben. I don't have like a because I the only Valve game I've ever really super gotten into was Portal. Like I I miss Team Fortress during. I know people still play Team Fortress too. And I, it's, it's one of those things that like, maybe I could jump in now, but like, I don't feel the strongest urge to. Case cutting stuff. Uh, hey, I feel you. That's, that's what I'm doing. So it's like, I don't know what's up with the, with the, um, uh, pro acryl metals. Like if they get like a single drop of water. Do an oil wash. I don't, I, I'm assuming iron, you mean like prime acrylic. Um, shiny varnish, then oil. I, I, I do a matte varnish at the very end, so that way that the oil paints don't, like, rub off on my fingers. But other, otherwise, I do not. I, I'm sure it's good. Be I have had some instances where that's bit me in the ass. Here, I got actually a good example. Earlier today, I uh, oil washed this Griff Hound. And I need to do a little, some more touch-up. Base idea looks pretty good. The problem is, on the back, when I was doing some, like, I, was, I, I like to do that reductive technique where you oil really, really heavily, and then you're, like, wiping it away. I think it's, like, some of the paint came off, so, like, that's just, that's just black. That's not wash. That's just black primer. I think I can fix, though. I think I, think I can fix that, though. I'm not super worried. Like Napoleon, I return. How you doing? Welcome back. I'm doing. I'm doing doggo ass surgery. I guess I go in with like really, really, really thin coats. Like I have, I have heard some people say that like doing the gloss uh, varnish before you do oils is a good idea. Yeah, the problem is like uh, for that I was letting what's it called? I think I'm just gonna wipe. I let it sit on my palette for too long. Um, I let it on my palate for too long, and it got really thick, so I tried to water it down a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's annoying, but, like, I got a little bit of, like... There we go. 
kind of fix that a little bit. I don't know if this is the same. I might have used a light gray and then try to. I just not paint the bottom of this. Maybe it's distinctly possible that I might not have actually finished the Griff Hound the first time through. That's a, that's 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 a, that's a that's a real possibility. Maybe he has another oil wash in his near future. I don't know. Either way, I could oh I could like. He's not fucked enough that I'm like super worried. I could, I could, I could unfuck him. Either. There we go. And like the back, I, like I said, I'm probably going to try to like get like a better color balance build up. Fine. Like if I stopped here, it would be kind of like a scrunkly model. I just, I do kind of like the 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 I like the idea of Griffhounds a lot. They're kind of nice. It's like the the storm the Stormcast predilection for just having like pets. It's been too much bad, but like fun little model. Especially if I can't keep it more to like I guess like a consistency. I can kind of a lot of times too. Like I'm. While I use while I do oil washes quite a bit, I sometimes will like accidentally I think I'm try I'm gonna consider moving to um streaking grime because I can't get like I get I get pretty decent consistency, but I found it the like the 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 kind of like the flow kind of gets a little weird and stuff like that. Limping through light day. Oh that's a that's that that's a that's a very relatable pain. I always fucking hate. Like 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 leg day rough. At least it's worth. At least you're doing it though. It's worth it in the very end. But uh, hang in there, yo. Right, uh, w air right the pot over black. Oh, that's that sounds painful. I've I've never used. I keep forgetting Games Workshop has like airbrush paints because it's so bizarre to me. Because like, not not that I think the idea of selling airbrush specific paints is weird. A lot of companies do that, but they use. Dropper bottles, like dropper bottles that you can drop into an airbrush. Like the 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 Games Workshop pot, like out of the is incompatible with that entire style of painting. Like I've I've airbrushed with GW's paints before. You have to move them. You flush out to be allies. That would be I I would really like actually if like all the like it's weird because like in uh, Death Guard you can't really bring like Nurglings. Uh, I mean, you can bring Nurglings, uh, but you bring them as like a little filler unit. I mean, I would like if you could bring like Plague Bearers that got to keep like the the Death Guard army rule. I would, I think it would be really cool. I like, I, I like what Age of Sigmar has, where it's like the god, like the cult units and their god mortals work in tandem, and it's really cool. I really love that shit. I really, really like that shit. Anyway, I gotta stop fucking around with the coat of this dog. And I have to wrap up for tonight, because unfortunately it do be getting late. So I'm gonna go to my schedule. I'm also gonna do it a little different this time. Usually I cut off schedule time before YouTube. I'll just do the explicit raid stuff after the schedule. So yeah, thank all of you nerds for coming. YouTube chat will be on screen though. That'll be unfortunate. Uh, thank you, nerds, for coming. I had a lot of fun. Schedule-wise, on Twitch. Well, let me do a let me do a thing real quick. Let me scoop my schedule over so you guys can see the symbols. There we go. So uh, tomorrow I will be on Echo's channel playing Content Warning, the Flavor of the Month fun party time game. Uh, then in Discord I will be. Uh, you say already? It has been four hours in my defense. <laughs> Uh, on, uh, Thursday in the Discord, which I believe the Discord command worked in YouTube, uh, we will be watching movies if you're into that. The idea is to do, uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, not Mortal Kombat Annihilation, we watched it, that movie was painful. Uh, Underworld Evolution, a totally different movie. Then on Saturday, I will be doing a stream where I explain how to get into Turnip 28, a stream I'm very excited to do. And then on Sunday, I will either be painting more robot or uh, after explaining Turnip 28, I might ah, paint some Turnip 28 models. I got hiccups now. All right. And then with that, I'm going to send all you YouTube peoples into the void because I'm going to be doing Twitch raids. But thank you for coming, everybody on the YouTube side. Take care.